Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play Nancy Drew series. I'm Kristen, Little Bumble Bear, and we're going to be playing the 10th game in the Nancy Drew series, The Secret of Shadow Ranch, made in 2004. I really enjoy this game because it's just so different from the other. Well, every Nancy Drew game is different in its own way, but this one is the only one that has a horse theme to it. If I'm correct, I think, it, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the only one. So it's got a nice country, country vibe to it. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below telling me if you've played this game or any of the other Nancy Drew games because I love meeting other Nancy Drew fans out there. And please consider subscribing to the channel for more Nancy Drew content and other Let's Plays to come. Also, follow my social media. I've got Twitter and Instagram. It's Little Bumble Bear. And this is being filmed in front of a live Discord audience in the Discord. So if you want to be in my Discord, let me know in the comments. And last but not least, I have a Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash Little Bumble Bear that I do live streams on Friday and Saturday nights at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Go follow me on there. Catch me when I'm live. Say hello. Let me know you're from YouTube. I love it when you guys do that. And thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. I'm joined tonight, as always, with my awesome mods and co-hosts, Vic and Sunny. Hello. Hey. Hello. How is everybody doing? Are you excited How's for our it? next Nancy Drew adventure? Yes. Yes, I am. What are you expecting with the game called The Secret of Shadow Ranch? Shadows. A horse. All right. And ranches. Well, without further ado, there you have it, folks. Let's just jump <laughs> right into it and see if we can get shadow horses and ranches. Dear Hannah, well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not well. The Raleigh's, the people who own the ranch, have been called away on some kind of emergency. They had Dave Gregory, he's their foreman, pick me up at the airport. He gave me a phone number, told me to call the Raleigh's at that number as soon as I got settled in, and refused to tell me anything else. In fact, he barely said two words to me the whole ride to the ranch. What's worse, Bess and George aren't here yet, which is very strange, because even though we had to take different flights, we figured we'd get into Phoenix at about the same time. Being here without them feels odd. After all, the Raleigh's are their aunt and uncle, not mine. I wouldn't even be here if Bess and George hadn't begged them to invite me out to the ranch for two weeks, too. Until about three months ago, the Raleigh's owned a clothing store. Bess said it was always their dream to sell the store and buy a cattle ranch. I hope they're okay, but frankly, as beautiful as Shadow Ranch is, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this place. Love, Nancy. Okay, we're just thrown right into the game. All right. Okay. Um, well, let's just look at this beautiful coffee table. City Very Slicker's nice. Guide to Ranch Horses. Oh. Uh. Ah, am I gonna be reading this? Do you want to? <laughs> if you want me to. Go ahead, cowboy! Only two minutes right. into the game, you're already reading. While much of the work on a modern cow ranch can be done using motorized vehicles, a great deal of it is, done, is still best accomplished on horseback. Cowboys can keep track of cattle grazing and rough terrain more easily by buying a horse, which can navigate the same steep rock gillies that cattle can, than by driving a pickup truck. Cattle tend to accept a horse rider on the mist more readily than a noisy dirt bike, and jobs like herding and sorting, which which require quick changes of direction and speed in order to control the movements of excited, confused, and sometimes just plain stubborn cows and calves, would be all but impossible without a horse. In fact, anyone who has ever watched a good cutting horse at work can't help but wonder if it's a cowboy on its back that is obsolete. Let me know if you actually want me to continue doing I this. <laughs> Um, it, I don't care either way. I'm just looking at the book. Although the horses found on working cattle ranches are sometimes called cow ponies, they are not necessarily ponies. A pony is usually defined as a horse that's under 4.2 hands, 58 inches. They are more correctly called stock horses and are more 
most likely to be quarter horses, paints, or appaloosas. The quarter horse was developed in the 17th century America by colonists looking for horses that could excel in straight, short distance races. These quarter mile horses, which evolved from Arab, Turk, and fire breeds, were that were brought over from Europe were compact, heavily muscled, even tempered sprinters. When the pioneers went west, so did the quarter horse. And as cattle ranching grew in economic importance, the quarter horse, whose ability to start, stop, turn quickly, and to anticipate and thwart the movements of cattle, became an indispensable part of ranch life. I got my popcorn. Keep going. Following to the American Quarter Horse Association found in 1940 to preserve, the, uh, to preserve the breed, a quarter horse can be just about any color from sorrel to buckskin to blue roan, but can only have white markings on the face and below the knees. The paint horse is a breed that, although is distinguished by its beautiful markings, is not simply a color breed. It can be officially recognized as a paint. A horse must be bred from horses registered with the American Paint Association, the American Quarter Horse Association, or the Jockey Club, which registers thoroughbreds. As a result, paint horses are similar when it comes to conformation. When it comes to coat patterns, however, no two paints are ever the same. Paints are categorized by three types of coat pattern: Tobiano, Overo, and Tovero. The head of a Tobiano is similar, color-wise, to that of a solid-colored horse. <laughs> It may have no white tail at all. No, it may have no white on it at all, or it may have a blaze strip or star or snip. All four of its legs below the knees and, and hocks are usually white. The white markings on its body are regular and often round or oval shaped, and its tail is frequent, frequently two colors. The head of a Novero has a bold white mark, has bold white markings, and its body, and its body displays regular scattered splashes of white. It's back between its withers and its tail, as well as one or all four of its legs is usually dark, and its tail is usually a single color. Dovero describes those paints whose coat patterns fall to fall to neat to fall. <laughs> this one. Dovero describes those paints whose coat patterns fail to fall neatly to either the Tobiano or Vero category, such as a horse with a bald or white face, four white legs, and and a predominantly dark body displays regularly shaped white markings. To further complicate matters, there is no guarantee that breeding two paint horses will result in a painted foal. However, solid color horses with paint horse bloodlines can be and are and are used for breeding. Like the quarter horse, paints can be found wherever calm, sturdy, willing mounts are required. The Appaloosa was developed by the Nets. Purse tribe of the inland northwest. It's unclear whether the Nez Purse established the breed using horses, which the Spanish introduced into North America in the early 18th century, or whether the Appaloosa migrated across the land bridge between Asia and North America when the Nez Purse, thousands of years earlier, as the ancient Asian pictograph of spotted horses suggests. In any case, by the 1800s, the Nez Purse had remarkably large. The Nez Purse had a Remarkably large herd of these strong, sure footed, colorful horses. Okay, Sonny, you can stop there. <laughs> Thank you, Cowboy Sonny. <laughs> I'm just gonna skim through the rest of this. It's just telling us the different colors of horses. Yeah. For horse lovers out there. If you guys wanna read this, just pause the video. All right, go ahead. Eight drives, record time, record heat. Local science teacher spends the day watching paint dry. Says it's the most excitement he's had in years. How are you not laughing you your head hobby. off at that? Get it, hobby man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the tumbleweed times, wow. That was wonderful. I can imagine a science. Right time. Must be broken. I can imagine a scientist being interested in how fast paint dries, but like I can't just imagine. You know what? It's so hot. I'm just gonna like 
paint my house and watch it dry. Urgent. Okay. I don't know anyone named B and G. I don't know anyone named B and G either. Wait, is this saying we have Google in this game? Yep. Hello? Hi, Bess, it's me. I'm at the ranch. Oh, Where are you guys? Omaha. Omaha? As in Nebraska? Our plane had to land here so they could fix some radio problem, and now they're saying... It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, George. Now they're saying we may be here for hours. Hours? You're kidding. Who knows what's really going on? Yeah, no one around here ever gives you a straight answer. So what's going on there? You're not going to believe this. Oh my gosh, you've got a mystery to solve, don't you? I can hear it in your voice. What's happened? Tell us. All I know so far is the Raleigh sent one of their ranch hands to pick me up at the airport instead of meeting my plane themselves. That is weird. Yeah, that doesn't sound like Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet at all. Are they there at the ranch? Nope. The ranch hand who picked me up told me I could reach them at this phone number he gave me. So what'd they say? I haven't called them yet. So call them! Yeah, and as soon as you do, call us. We're so bored. George just bought a book on 19th century clothing and accessories. George did? It's the only thing in the bookstore here that looked halfway interesting. So if you need to know anything that's even remotely related to 19th century fashion, let us know, okay? Watch Sounds that, good to me. In the meantime, you think? call Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet. I mean, not only have you got our curiosity going, but we're bored, Nancy. Bored. I hear you. I'll talk to you soon, okay? You better. I'm gonna call my boy Frank and Joe. You. Uh, excuse me? Nancy, hi. Sorry, I thought you were somebody else. Who'd you think I was? Hey, Nancy. Hi, Frank. I thought you were this guy we're doing some work for. You guys are on a case? That's great. No, it's not. Turns out the guy is a bit neurotic. What do you mean? He wants us to track down his missing laptop. He left it in a restaurant. Only he keeps calling us. Yeah, like every two minutes. He's become a real nuisance. Maybe you should just quit. Can't. Why not? The guy's filthy rich, and if we find that laptop, he said he'd make us filthy rich. But the real reason we can't quit is, he's the son of our mother's best friend. Yeah, if we quit, we'd never hear the end of it. Uh-oh, we've got another call. Let him leave a message for the nine millionth time. So Nancy, tell us about the ranch. The Raleigh's, you know, Bess and George's aunt and uncle? They're missing. Missing? What do you mean? I mean, they're not here, and no one will tell me where they are. I have their phone number. I'm supposed to call them. So why haven't you called them? I thought I'd call you. Now look, Nancy. <laughs> Frank and I are witty and charming and interesting and great fun to talk to and all that. Okay. But are you nuts? You've got a mystery on your hands. Call them. Right. I was just saying hi. <laughs> I'm gonna call That's home great. next. If I can. Can I? Yes. Maybe, maybe Hannah will pick up. That'd be nice. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the B. I don't need to talk to anyone at home. Oh, never mind. All right, Raleigh's. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy, are you at the ranch? Yes, and I'm a little concerned that you're not. Is everything all right? Oh, everything's fine. I mean, it is now. It wasn't last night, of course. Everything would have been fine last night if you hadn't made such a fuss. How could I not make a fuss? There was a rattlesnake in our bedroom, for Pete's sake. Did you say rattlesnake? I told Ed to leave it alone and let one of the hands get it out of there, but no, Ed started poking at it with my yardstick, and all of a sudden it leapt up and bit him. Where? In the bedroom, dear. I could have sworn I mentioned that. No, Mrs. Raleigh. I mean, where did it bite him? On his arm? On his leg? Oh, on his arm, just below the elbow. Swelled up something awful. But fortunately, he's doing much better today, and the doctors think he'll be well enough to go home in a day or so. I'm well enough to go home right now. No, you're not. If I don't stay here with him, he'll get up and walk right out that door. No, I won't. 
What can I do to help you? Nothing, dear. Absolutely nothing. You just go get a horse from Tex. He's the head wrangler. And go riding to your heart's content. I told Shorty to go ahead with the cookout I planned for tonight and... The envelope. Have her take that envelope to Mary. Oh, good idea. There's an envelope in the roll-top desk in the den marked Mary. If you could ride over to Mary Yazzie's and give it to her, we'd really appreciate it. I'd love to. Is there an address on the envelope? Dave will tell you how to get there. She's gonna have to get the key to the desk from him, too. Oh, that's right. I always lock the roll top. Dave has the key. Oh, dear. It seems like there was something else I wanted to tell you. The horse, Meg. Tell her about the phantom horse. Did he say phantom horse? Yes. You see, last night we... Hello, Mr. Raleigh. Time for those tests. Uh-oh. We have to go. Don't worry about us, dear. You just go have fun. Just be sure to wear a hat and drink plenty of water. It's gonna be another hot one. Bye! No, wait. Just tell me about the... Phantom oh. horse? Okay. Uh -huh. Did that not sound like Nurse Bluefoot who walked in? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Remember Nurse Bluefoot from Secret of the Scarlet Hand? Right. He was taking care of, uh... Vander, Hugh, whatever his name was. Yeah. Alright. What's over here? Hmm. Okay, that... Something goes here. Can't do anything with that. And there's nothing to grab in here. I do not have the key. Hmm. Yet. Oh, I was hoping she'd say, it's locked. Hmm. Nope. Now instead we get... <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I miss it's locked. I hope it comes back. I haven't heard it's it. Lo it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, part two. Here we go, Sonny. <laughs> All right. I used to care in feeding of a ranch horse. Unlike horses used primarily for recreational competition, most ranch horses spend their off hours outdoors, sometimes under the protection of trees or lean to, or a lean to, rarely in a closed stall, and in the cold winter months they're likely to grow long, shaggy coats. But their basic nutritional requirements are exactly the same as any other working horse. As a result, uh, as a result, feeding a horse requires a, a large quantity of food all at once, then making it wait hours for its next meal while tied up or restricted to a stall can be a recipe for a disaster. Things to consider when feeding a horse are its weight and the amount of work it's doing. All domesticated horses need hay. In general, a horse should eat between 1.5 and 3% of its body weight every day. This means a horse that weighs 1,000 pounds should be eating anywhere from 15 to 30 pounds of food a day. It's recommended that half its food ration should, should consist of good hay, which horses need to keep their digestive tract sound and to satisfy their natural urge to chew. This means a horse weighing 1,000 pounds should be fed at least 7.5 to 15 pounds of hay a day. Timothy, alfalfa, and brown grass are Thrown grass are among the hays commonly fed to ranch horses. Working horses are usually fed grain as well as hay in order to provide extra energy and protein. Oats, corn, and soybean meal, or a mixture of these, along with supplemental vitamins and, vin and minerals, are among the grains that ranch horses are commonly fed. When it comes to its grain ration, each horse ne or each horse's need to be this is such a weird structure. Each horse needs to be each horses need to be determined individually. The energy needs of one one thousand pound horse might mean it needs only two pounds of grain a day, while another might need ten or more pounds a day. While still another might thrive on all on an all hay diet and need no grain at all. It depends on how much work the horse is doing, how much hay it's getting and how well it digests and absorbs the chosen source of grain. It is important that grain be added to a horse's diet slowly. Always remember to go by the weight of the grain, not by its volume. I.e. a gallon of oats is quite different from a pound of oats. And to use a properly calibrated scale when mixing grain sources. 
and never feed a horse more than five pounds of grain at once. If a horse needs to eat more than five pounds of grain a day, divide a, the ration into, a, into at least two feedings separated by as much time as possible. Improper feeding can result in medical conditions that are very painful and potentially fatal to the horse, such as colic and foundering. In a horse, colic can be simply described as, a, as abdominal pain. This can be due to excess gas or to an intestinal blockage, both of which can be caused by feeding a horse the wrong food or too much of the right food. Signs of colic in its early stages may include listlessness and lack of appetite. As its condition worsens, the horse may roll, repeatedly lie down and stand up, sweat and kick its abdomen. Call the veterinarian. Don't give a horse food or water and keep it walking if it keeps trying to roll. Bounder occurs when the tissue between the foot and the bone and the foot bone and the wall of the hoof swells. This resulting pressure causes pain, and if the swelling is severe, blood flow may stop. The tissue may die, resulting in permanent damage to the horse's feet. Diet related causes of founder include eating excessive amounts of grain and drinking cold water before being properly cooled down after exercise. What color is that horse? Black. Black body, black mane and tail, but no hint of red. Okay, Some okay, horses. Sonny. All right, all right. <laughs> I think that's all for today. We'll just... <laughs> yep. 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 All right, great. Thanks, game. I've learned so much about food and colic. Haven't you? Right, time for the quiz. I swear, if I have to read one more horse book... Alright. Charlena Purcell. <laughs> okay. Well, based on that name, I'm not reading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we don't need to read it. Thank goodness. It looks like there's something on. I don't know. It wouldn't let me. Like, it looked like you could like flip the left side page. I did. It just took me to the cover. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Frances Humber. Wonder who she was. Phoenix and surrounding it's areas will be hot and dry today with temperatures expected to reach the mid-90s by 5 this afternoon. After that, temperatures will begin to drop with a nighttime low in the mid-60s. Most areas to the south and west of Phoenix can expect more heat for the next several days, while areas to the north and east should also expect rapidly developing thunderstorms. So if you're going to be hiking, biking, camping, or horseback riding, be aware that sudden downpours and flash floods are always a possibility at this time of year, and don't go into the wilderness areas unprepared. We've got several livestock auctions in the area tonight and tomorrow. Small animals, including goats, rabbits, and chickens, will be auctioned off at Barney Hall and Apache Junction, with doors opening at 6 and bidding beginning at 7. Barney Hall is located at 1339 South North Street. Also tonight, there's a horse auction at Lobenthal Farms, located on Route 5 in Gilbert. Doors will open at 5 for stall inspection of sale animals. Bidding starts promptly at 7. At 10 a.m. tomorrow, that's 10 in the morning, folks, there will be video cattle auction over in the Gemstone Room at the Blue Dog Hotel in Rittenhouse, featuring Charlay and Angus Breeden stock. Oh my goodness. Hear that? That's the sound of happy cattle, healthy cattle, cattle whose diet includes Big Pink Mineral Supplement, chelated for easy absorption. Big Pink is the perfect blend of calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, sodium... I've heard that voice. I think we've called them on the phone. Copper, fluoride, iodine, iron, manganese, selenium, and zinc. Minerals no bovine should be without. So, for big results, stock up on Big Pink now. Well, that was great. I like that radio program. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to see a feller with a big face? Sure. sure. Shorty. Shorty. I feel like he's got the mm -hmm. roundest face we've ever seen. 
Hey, <laughs> look at that face. You must be Nancy. I'm the cook, Shorty Thurmond. Welcome to Shadow Ranch. Come on over here and tell me about yourself. You have talked to the Raleys, right? I have, and I still can't believe what happened to Ed. That is creepy, isn't it? But the horse, that was even creepier. See, I was just about to crawl into bed last night, when all of a sudden, this glowing horse comes galloping up outside. It stops and rears and paws, whinnying and snorting. Then it just wheels around and gallops off into the night. It was Dirk Valentine's horse, you know. Now it's a phantom. Dirk Valentine? Dirk Valentine was an outlaw around here back in the 1880s. Legend has it, he was in love with Frances Humber. She lived right here on Shadow Ranch. Oh, the lady in the, the painting. her daddy was the sheriff. Ooh. That's a spicy love story, ain't it, Sonny? It's spicy. Ouch. Because of him, Valentine was captured and eventually hanged. Ever since, the ghost of his horse has been roaming the desert. Cursing whoever sees him with bad luck. You don't really believe that, do you? All I know is, Ed Raleigh sees the horse, and what happens less than two minutes later? He gets bit by a rattlesnake. You do the math. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. All right, so we've learned that there is a phantom horse running around. That it belonged to an outlaw named Dirk Valentine, who was in love with the sheriff's daughter. Ooh, vinegar pie. Oh, this must be real recipes. Who wants a vinegar pie, though? That sounds kind of... Does that sound no. good to you? No. That's definitely an interesting flavor choice. Sugar, butter, vinegar, flour. Uh... No. Uh, let's look at taco salad. Ooh. Okay, okay. How about taco salad? Does that sound good? Taco salad's always good. Yes. Vinegar pie and new. Add lettuce, tomatoes, onion mixture. Okay. Uh, oh, sunny fry bread. <laughs> Stir in the sugar, add the rest of the milk. Free recipes, guys. Okay. Rattlesnake chili. Don't put a snake in it. You need grease. Onions, garlic. I don't grease. Wait, you actually put rattlesnake in it. A chicken would do. Oh. Says chicken not well. Thank goodness. Adobe Acrobat bread? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, sh you sure it's not Adobo? Oh, maybe. I don't know. That's an E at the end. Conversion chart, that's nice. Sheriff's number. Okay. Don't have anything. Could I talk to him about anything else? Hey there, Nancy. 
Man, I wish the Raleigh's were here. How come? I'm really looking forward to you and me sitting down and having a nice conversation. Especially with all the weird stuff that's going on. I'm so busy getting all their chores done in addition to my own that I barely have time to talk to myself, let alone to you. Enough of me complaining. What's up? Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. All right. get all this oh okay so this is like Nancy's journal she just writes down things little notes tidbits painting past day find out what the deal is with the phantom horse yeah so this is a new thing that they've added where you can access her journal at any time from your bar thing down here. So you can keep track of tasks way easier. Something I really like that they did. So we don't have to rely on a computer now. So let's go talk to Dave. He's the handsome fella. You talked to the Raleigh's? I sure did. Do you think Ed's gonna be alright? He'll be okay. Getting bit by a rattler's no picnic, but it sounds like he's out of the woods. Shorty told me about the phantom horse that appeared just before it happened. Did you see it too? It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Guess you're gonna be asking me a lot of questions, huh? I'm sorry. Am I bugging you? The Raleigh said you were a detective. Their niece, Bess Marvin? She told them that, and she exaggerates. I'm gonna be honest with you, ma'am. We were short a couple hands to begin with, and now with the Raleigh's gone and everybody on edge over what happened last night, well, this is not a good time to be visiting Shadow Ranch, that's all. How do you think that rattlesnake wound up in the Raleigh's bedroom? Probably crawled in through a mouse hole sometime during the day and took a nap. Nighttime's when they're most active. Something the Raleigh's found out the hard way. Could somebody have put it there? Guess it's possible. Person would have to know how to handle snakes, of course, but then if you work in the desert, that's one of the things that's good to know. The Raleigh's asked me to take something out to Mary Yazzie's, but it's in the den in the roll-top desk, which is locked. They said you had the key? Sure do. They gave me their key ring at the hospital. Great, thanks. To get to Mary's shop, just follow the trail that goes northeast out of the corral. Can't miss it. And I should probably warn you, she doesn't like the Raleigh's. Why not? No idea. Not really any of my business. I talked to my friends, Bess and George. Their plane's been delayed. They aren't sure when they're going to get here. Sorry to hear that. Well, to be honest, I'm not, really. Driving back and forth to the airport takes a lot of time, and time's one thing we're all running kind of short of around here. I'll let you get back to work. See you later. I wonder how far away the airport is from the ranch. Oh man, no wonder I'm sweating. Raleigh sold a trunk full of junk to Mary Yazzie. Uh oh. We want to read this one, Sonny? Um. To Ed and Bet Raleigh. Just because you. What does it say? Fired. Oh, just because you fired me. Don't make me an don't make another mistake or think you've heard the last of me, cause you haven't. We all know that I deserve a second chance. Letting me go without giving me one was just plain wrong. In fact, I know what your problem is. Sounds like this Jane Nash <laughs> has it out for the Raleigh's. Is that dude or girl? That's a good <laughs> Why'd you make me read this if I, you knew who it was? I forgot! 
my fault. Mom, you're reading this one. We all know I deserve a second chance. Letting me go without giving me one was just plain wrong. In fact, know what your problem is? You don't believe in justice. But see, I do. That's the way my brother and I were raised. Justice always prevails. Although sometimes it needs a little help. You'll see. Jane Nash. All right, then. All righty. So I got these little thingy maboobers, but I don't quite remember how to use them. Yeah, no, not really. I think we'll just have to come back when we have the solution. But that's where they go. I'm check. Okay. okay, well, the only way I'm going to be able to get to Mary Ozzie's is to ride a horse. do that is talk to this fella. So which one are you? The nice one? The Raleigh said they were going to be inviting some young ladies out here. I take it you're one of them. Yes, I'm Nancy Drew. And you are? I'm the head wrangler. You want to ride, you come to me. You prove to me you know what you're doing, I may just let you. You know who he sounds like? Um, someone from a cigarette commercial? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, from another Nancy Drew game. He sounds like the bird watcher. I guess. He has that quiet voice. He'd be like, you know, don't go scaring the birds. When we were at the ghost dog game. Yeah. Because he sounds like him. Don't go scaring away the birds, young lady. Do you smoke? You know, stuff like that. Did you see the phantom horse last night? I saw something. Just what? I still ain't sure. Now if you want to ride, listen up. First thing you're gonna do is never ride unless you're wearing a hat and gloves. And unless you got a full canteen of water, you can wear that hat over there. It's Mrs. Raleigh's. Got a helmet built right in. Her gloves are on the saddle you'll be using. And you can get a canteen from Shorty. Then you're gonna saddle and bridle your horse. No need to brush them. I do that when I bring them in. Then you're gonna lead them to the mountain block in the corral and mount up. Then I'm gonna ask you some questions. You can't ride outside the corral till you get all the answers right. If I don't know something, can I just ask you? Nope. When you're done riding, you're gonna dismount, hook your horse up, take the saddle and bridle off and put them back where you got them. Always keep your gloves with your saddle. Do these horses ground tie? Yep. If you get off when you're on the trail, don't tie your reins to nothing. Just drop them. And barring an earthquake or something, old Bob will stay put. Bob? Who's Bob? The bay over there. Name's Bob. That's Bob is Bay. Okay. May I go riding now? Nope. With the Raleigh's gone, the ranch is real short-handed. Before you ride, you're gonna have to go see if Shorty's got any chores that need doing. Gotta get a canteen from him anyway. Talk to you later. Yahoo. There you go. There's your new little catchphrase, Sonny. Yahoo? Yep. You gotta Yahoo. say it. You gotta say it all un un unenthusiastically. Yahoo. Yahoo. Yep. There you Yahoo. go. Well, hello there. Are you, you got some friends back there? Is this Bob? Clyde? Bob. Hi there. You two aren't too shabby looking either. Didn't they say it was a golden horse? Bob is a bay. Bob is bay. Okay. Can you just remember that? No. Then we have a problem. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Tex said I should get a canteen from you and see if there are any chores you'd like me to do. Music to my ears. First thing you can do for me is go out to the garden and pick all the ripe vegetables. You know what ripe vegetables look like, don't you? No, but don't worry, I'll find out. Good, because if you pick vegetables that aren't ripe yet, I'll be real ticked. 
you can put them in the vegetable basket that's hanging outside. And one more thing. Sometime today, I need you to build a cooking fire in the pit outside. I'll light it when I'm ready to start cooking. And be sure to fill the bucket out there with water and leave it by the pit. You know, just in case something catches on fire that isn't supposed to. The Raleigh's wanted to have a cookout tonight, and by golly, we're gonna have a cookout no matter who is or isn't here. All right. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. Man, I got my work cut out for me. Yahoo. <laughs> well, I suppose I could use Google. River Heights Railway Street, not in River Heights anymore. All right, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you should read this as if it's like a blog or something from Gardner. I don't know what a blog gardener uh, voice. I, I don't. Uh, actually, to be honest, I thought you might know. <laughs> I've never heard of a blog gardener <laughs> well, voice. Uh, or gardener blog, whatever. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I thought you might have an idea, <laughs> but <laughs> to give it. yellow when ripe. Alright. I did this right. It's so hot. I Did you should save get these before picking them? Yep. Right Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Oh no, you got stuff in here that isn't ripe yet. Oh. Picking stuff before it's ripe is a waste of perfectly good food. So don't do it again, you hear? Now, second thing I need you to do for me is take this, go out to the chicken coop and fill it up with eggs. Just be careful of that basket. It's kind of old. And don't forget to build me that campfire like I asked. Right. So he gave me a little grace period where it's okay this time, but next time I'm going to get murdered. <laughs> like, literally, like literally murdered? Yeah, he'll probably kill me. No. Yeah. The head wrangler. <laughs> oh, don't be too rude there. Just trying to do his job. That's done. That's done. Check. What, what do I have new email? Well, I don't know what. Maybe it's just saying I can call people. I don't know. Uh. We could try this. <sighs> Put all the wood first. Maybe I'm not close enough. Oh, no, no, no. 
There we go. There, just call me Nancy Paul Bunyan Drew. <laughs> All right, that is done. Okay, Nancy Paul Bunyan Drew. By the way, you always ask where I am. Oh, there I am. Wait, hold on. No. Wait. Oh, there I was again. Nope. So I haven't seen you, oh, well, Kristen hey, wait, Paul hey, Bunyan wait, Drew. Wait. <laughs> Hang on, I'm coming back around. Okay, look at me. I'm right by the. the I'm right by the nope, uh, little. So there it is. There it is. So I didn't see you, Nick. Kristen Paul Bunyan <laughs> Drew. Oh, I need something nuts. to put the fire out. Every game he keeps missing it. Yeah, because I need to see. So, Sunny, do you chop wood often? No. Oh. Alright, let's look for chickens. Nope. There was a time no. when I would sometimes chop wood and I go camping. Yep, no. 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 Oh. Oh no. Oh. Good There's job. a hole in it. Good job. Well, you know. I think you're gonna die. You think I'm gonna die? <laughs> you think he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna kill me? He's gonna kill me. Oh, probably. Yeah, Shorty's got a temper. There. Am I good or what? Yeah, you're real good. Nancy Drew, but Voila. you're doing the eggs. <coughs> well, um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get any eggs today. Sorry. He's kill you. Yeah, he's gonna kill me. Got those eggs for me? Well, I need those eggs, Nancy. But, but, what? I didn't think I saw any more eggs out there. Aw, oh, man. Oh. Ow, ow! Yikes! Maybe I'll come back when she's not in such a foul mood. Uh -huh. I see what they did there. Yeah. Got the eggs. Got the eggs. You can find more eggs than that. I can. What is he talking about? <laughs> more. I haven't done catching that off till it's. Oh. You know, I think I need to take the wood with me. Yeah, I need to take this wood. Wonder who wrote this. We'll uh, need more B if soon check again. Have it right. Okay, I'm gonna. We'll need more soon. I'll take a picture uh, of this. Check. Oh, check. Check again. Some 
something goes here. I need to start Ooh, with Tinder. Goes here. Oh, I need to find Tinder. No, Google works. There's... There we go, I think that should be enough. Not yet. Oh, that's paper. Paper, paper, we need paper. I know what we can do. We're gonna burn a book. Bank robbers? Denver bank robbers spotted at local gas station. Clerk's description of clothing, car, green-tinted sunglasses, matches that of witness to $100,000 heist. Yeah, who cares anyway? Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. So far, so good. I need more kindling. You need more? Uh, Girl, where am I gonna get more? More. Uh, more. Uh, no. I don't see any. Uh. Ah, there we go. I need to start with Tinder. I need to put it again? Okay. So far, so good. I need more kindling. Really? Oh. Okay. It do be that way. It do be that way, don't it? Well, well nuts. Where am I gonna get more of that? Uh. see where there would be more. No sense going in there without a horse to ride. There's you. Am I missing the kindling? Hmm. Maybe you know something. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? How long have you worked here? About as long as the Raleigh's have lived here. About three months, I guess. I was their first hire. First me, then Tex, then Shorty. Tex seems a little ornery. He does his job and he does it good. Far as I'm concerned, that's all that's important. I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to do anything with the kindling yet. I'll just go talk to Shorty. Don't you need you more can eggs? Buy more eggs than that. Oh, yeah. I can? 
forgot. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to Farming Simulator, everyone. Hope you're enjoying. Not the Farming Simulator I was expecting. Eggs for me, right here. Good for you. Anything I can good do for, for you. you now? Do you think I could get a canteen of water from you? Got one right here. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. All right. Can't check that off. Check, check. We should call. Hello? Hi, guys. So what Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed say? Get this. Last night, Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet found a rattlesnake in their room. Oh, my gosh. Are they okay? Well, actually, it bit Uncle Ed. <gasps> Is he all right? He will be. Right now, he's in the hospital. He'll probably be there for a day or two. Aunt Bet's staying with him. Oh, my God. And apparently a phantom horse showed up at just about the same time as that snake. A phantom horse? Of all the times to get stranded in some stupid airport. Look, you just better keep us posted, Nancy Drew. That's all I gotta say. Apparently last night, this glowing horse came galloping up out of nowhere, caused a huge commotion, then went galloping off and disappeared. It was glowing? Evidently, it was pretty spooky. You're there investigating phantom horses, and what are we doing? A big, fat nothing. That does it, George. We're suing the airline. The cook, Shorty Thurman, he says the phantom horse belonged to this outlaw named Dirk Valentine, who was hanged back in the 1880s. Is this Valentine guy a phantom, too? Uh, I don't think so. Well, how come his horse got to become a phantom and he didn't? That There's a horse is special. Phantoms don't really exist. Okay. According to legend, seeing the horse is bad luck. I believe it. I mean, look at what happened to the guy who owned him. Don't you think it's kind of odd how that rattlesnake showed up in the Raleigh's bedroom right after that phantom horse showed up outside? You don't buy that it was an unfortunate coincidence? Dave said when the horse appeared, everyone ran outside to look. So, you're saying someone used the horse to lure everyone outside then put the snake in their room, knowing no one would be watching? It's possible, don't you think? But if you're right, it means someone wants to hurt Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed. Oh my gosh! If you're right, it means that someone is on the ranch! And whoever it is must be working with an accomplice. You know, someone to wrangle the horse. So everyone there is a suspect. That's right. Well, you don't have to sound so happy about it. That's it for now. Thanks for calling. Bye, Nan. Now what? Hi, Frank. Nancy, what a relief. Your client's still bugging you? He calls every 3.25 minutes. You can set your watch by him. But the good news is, he's being so obnoxious that we're working faster than we've ever worked before. We're going to solve this case in record time. Like they say, every cloud has a silver lining. Uh-oh, incoming call. Think it's him? 3.25 minutes. It's him. Want me to hang up? No. He can leave a message. So what's going on there? The Raleigh's aren't here because Mr. Raleigh was bitten by a rattlesnake last night. Whoa. How bad off is he? He's still in the hospital, but they think he's going to be okay. And that's not all that happened last night. We're listening. Apparently, this glowing horse came running up to the ranch house, caused everybody to go rushing out to look, then went racing off into the night. We get nut jobs who can't keep track of their computers. What does Nancy get? Horses that glow in the dark. I mean, I know life isn't fair, but this is ridiculous. I'm not sure how to go about building an outdoor cooking fire like Shorty asked me to. Any hints? Three words. Tinder, kindling, and fuel. In that order. Tinder is anything that burns real mm -hmm. easily. Kindling is small type wood. And fuel is big type wood. But it can't be too big. 
To build this fire, you might have to split. And to make sure no one winds up kicking the bucket, don't forget to fill one. There's a secret compartment at the back of the blanket chest in the den. Any hints as to how to open it? Well, those three holes suggest you're going to need three square bottom keys. Find them. Oh, they already stick know these deep Then look to Father Time for direction. Hmm. Catch you later. Sounds good. Bye. Oh, we can technically open it right now. I guess so. Get the stupid bonfire. Forget those nice hot schmoes. <laughs> <laughs> Red, blue, yellow. Red is 12, blue is 2, yellow is 7. Red, 2, 7. Just brute forcing this. That's probably a solution. Oh, that must be Frances Humberg and her father, the sheriff. Probably. Most likely. This doesn't look like it was ever opened. As usual, things did not work out like I planned. Just when I get everything fixed just right for you to go looking for the thing I hid for you, I go and get myself arrested. But no matter what you hear, nothing is gonna happen to me. I will be fine and we will be together soon, I promise. Meanwhile, you can keep busy by looking for what I hid. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all the rock pictures are. They will tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites, start keeping them in mind too. I will leave a message for you in this here cell, just in case they decide to move me to the jail down in Tumbleweed or something. I like vexing your brain, because when you are thinking real hard, like when you're playing the piano, you are more beautiful than anything in the world. I am sure to be out of here before you find my treasure, but in case I am not, know that it is all yours, and that you are more precious to me than 10,000 treasures put together. 9, 12, 15, 22, 5, 25, 15, 21. Dirk. P.S. I do not and never will hold what your father did to me against you. Interesting. Mm. I like vexing your brain. Okay, so I took a picture of the numbers. July 4th, 1882. Got swore in as sheriff. It was the 4th. So it's like all them celebrations was for me, which of course they weren't. Francis thought up a song and played it on the piano for me. I forget how it went, but it was pretty. I'm lucky to have her for a daughter. Herford Shoup come by with a plant he brung from New York, which he calls Harrison's Yellow. It looked right dead to me, but Francis planted it out back, gave it some water, and already it looks to be on the mend. She's 17 and can read and write good and knows her numbers. Herford's thinking to marry her, but I said she ain't of that mind yet. Let me get this straight. He said his daughter is 17 and she can read, write, and knows her numbers? Um, huh? I guess back then, at that age, you should have known how to read, write, and know your numbers. I... That's so weird. Yep, back All then, right. I guess you had to be at least 17 before you were considered smart enough to read, write, and know your numbers. Right. March 30th, 1883. Frances has got eyes for a young man named Dirk. She says he's from Prescott. Cappy says when she plays a piano, this Dirk makes everyone be quiet so he can hear her good. I ain't never seen her smile like she smiles now. I told her to bring him to the ranch for dinner, but she 
says he won't come because he is too shy. I wonder if that is the truth. April 16th, 1883. Got a letter from the sheriff over in Phoenix about this Dirk Valentine who was wanted for robbing two banks in a stagecoach. The picture with the letter looked just like Dirk, who Francis is sweet on. When I showed her the picture, she got tearful and run off. Now, Dirk is gone, and she won't say nothing about where he went. August 2nd, 1883. Dirk Valentine is robbing banks and coaches and trains all over the territory. Francis says he never ever shoots his gun and only steals from people that already got plenty of money. But that ain't true, because some of them trains he robbed was carrying Just money me. meant to pay miners a hard-earned wages. He is nothing but a no-good, greedy outlaw. But Francis gets real mad when I say that. I fear she is still sweet on him, and that she sees him when she knows I am busy, and gets letters from him when she hides from me. Busy. Is it just me or is this? Is, 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 is his handwriting and skin worse? I Dirk and saw what they was going to meet. So I got a posse and we caught Dirk, and now he's in jail. The judge is coming next week, and I hear he is a hanging judge, so Dirk most likely ain't long for this world. Francis won't say nothing to me no more, and says she never will again. It just mirrors his handwriting being worse and worse. Yeah, and he spelled he spelled busy B I S S Y. Like, like at the beginning, I don't think his handwriting was so bad. Okay, never mind. Actually, his handwriting is pretty bad <laughs> all the time. Okay. September thirteenth, eighteen eighty three. Dirk sent a secret letter to Francis, which Mason got hold of and gave to me. I locked it up so she won't ever read it. Francis ain't allowed to see Dirk in jail, of course. And if she never sees his letter, maybe she will think he don't like her no more, and, and maybe she will stop liking him. Francis's ma would have known what to do better than me. I wish she was still alive. September 17th, 1883. They hung Dirk at noon. I thought I would be glad. But I ain't. September 18th, 1883. Francis took Brownie in my big saddle bag and is gone. She ain't told no one where she's going, not even Cappy. But I know she will forget Dirk, and when she does, she will come home because she's a smart gal and will figure out that I, I did what I'd done for her. January 4th, 1884. My sister says her little girl Ellie got a letter that said Francis went east and out of a mind to ever return. I hope this ain't the truth, because I miss her something awful. June 11th, 1884. The Harrison's yellow, which Francis said was her favorite flower in the world, is just a pile of brown sticks now. I don't know how to look after delicate things like that, so it is my fault that it died. I ain't seen or heard from Francis in a year. I tell people she's on her way home, but when I look in my heart, is alive. She will never come back to Shadow Ranch. It is my fault. I will just have to find a way to live with it. That was the most depressing journal I've ever read. Yep. And you could tell he was crying. Mm -hmm. Smudged. You know. Oh my gosh, I wonder what happened to her. Oof. I think it was wrong for her father to keep that letter from her. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I should probably fill my canteen with water. It's empty. Probably. I just realized that. He wanted me to get a canteen, but what use is it if I can't drink anything from it? Is it filled with water? Oh, maybe it is. Maybe Shorty filled it for me. Never mind. He probably did. Need something? Do you know anything about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly hid for his sweetheart? Nope. Ah, somehow I knew you were going to say that. May I go writing now? Yep, if you got everything I told you you need, and you think you know your stuff when it comes to horses. 
Old Bob's all yours. Okay. Talk to you later. If you last that long. I'll last long. <laughs> Don't I have to long? Oh, I should probably grab his saddle. Uh. There we go. I'm ready. Ready for some questions? I think so. Where's the horse's hocks? Horses hawks. Um below its knees? Just below its knees. Nope. Uh-oh. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's frog? In the pond? On the bottom of its hoof. That's one out of ten. Ask me something else. How tall is a horse that's fifteen hands? Oh, I remember we saw that one. It's um, uh, I think f mm. try forty-five inches. How tall is a horse that's fifteen hands? Fifty-five inches. Nope. I uh, think it was forty-five. Inches. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? A quarter. gated horse. Two out of ten. Got a long way to go. Ask me something else. How can you tell if a horse is colicking? It keeps lying down, then standing up. Three down, seven to go. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A bay is light brown. Nope. Ugh. Ask me something else. What tribe bred the first Appaloosas? The Nez Pierce. That's four right. Ah, uh -uh, reading did something, Sonny. Ask me something yeah. else. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? Its feet. Its feet. That's five. You're halfway there. Ask me something else. What part of the saddle should you always check before you head out on the trail? I think it's the cinch. The cinch. Bingo. That was number six. Ask me something else. What is a mule? The offspring of a female horse and a male donkey. Seven down. You're in the home stretch. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's hocks? Back with legs. On its back legs. Eight right. Oh. Just two to go. Okay. Ask me something else. How tall is a horse that's 15 hands? Which one did you say it would be? Four feet? Five feet? Um, okay, so I honestly thought I said 45 inches. Um... They, they said how much it was in that book. I just don't remember what the number was. Five feet. This here's your final question. I'm <laughs> ready. <laughs> What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A chestnut is light brown. Nope. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A chestnut has black points. Nope. Ugh. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A bay has black points. Well, you answered all the questions right. And I can tell by the way you sit, you ain't gonna go falling off for no good reason. So you're free to ride outside the corral. Just don't go galloping all over the place. Because if you bring old Bob back all hot and sweaty, you can kiss your cowgirl days at Shadow Ranch goodbye. We did it, Sonny! Okay, Bob. What do you say we do some sightseeing? Here we go. Let's go to Mary's. Oh, I'm going to get to actually see it. Sad. This is not the, uh... This is not the Red Dead Redemption uh, gameplay I was expecting. Nope. It's a shame that, that game doesn't capture really well. Old. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, wouldn't have been that easy, huh? Nope. Always brute force it. Hmm. Okay. This is not the episode much. of uh, Looney Tunes I was expecting. This is the Looney Tunes episode, oh my. <laughs> Here we go. Hee hee. Dilly dilly boo 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 dilly papa dilly papa dilly dilly. Yeah, now if you're behind me, you can't get me. Uh -oh. <laughs> Level three. Whoop, come get me. <laughs> come get me. You can't get me. Or something. All right. Hey. Arrowheads. Oh, there's that book. By Julia Purcell. Okay, there's Mary Yazi. What a beautiful horse. Hi, can I help you? Hi, are you Mary Yazi? That's me. I didn't hear a car. Did you hike in or come by horse? I rode here. I'm Nancy Drew. So where are you staying? Shadow Ranch. I heard what happened last night. Tough break for the Raleigh's. Getting that place going has been a real struggle for them. How did you hear about it? Word gets around. Here, I have something for you. I'm Beth sure. wanted me to give you this. Great. I want to buy a small piece of property from them. It must be their response. Bad news? They rejected my offer. Well, I guess that's that. But as long as you're here, look around. All the jewelry you see, all the rugs, the beadwork, the pottery, they were all made by local artists, including yours truly. So if you want to know something, Especially if you want to know how much something is, just ask. Is that you riding that beautiful Palomino in the picture over there? That's my horse, Banner. I train him myself. What else can he do? Anything I ask. He and I are both pretty talented. Is that old trunk over there the one you bought from the Raleigh's? Yeah, they didn't want much for it, so I took it off their hands. Problem is, I still don't know what's in it because I can't figure out how to open it. Have you asked the Raleigh's about forcing. it? They were no help, although they did offer to buy it back from me. I just told them to keep looking for a way to get it open. Are there many petroglyphs around here? If you take the trail to Cougar Bend, there are hundreds. A lot of them were probably made by the Anasazi. They lived in the area until about 700 years ago, when they just suddenly picked up and left. I won something that looks like a token when I played that game over there. What is it? They actually used those for something back in the 1880s, but I don't know what. It was great talking to you. Ride safely.
Oh, don't worry, Nancy Drew. You won't forget in That's about done. Like, five or six years. I'm finished years. with that. I'll be Googling everything. I'm finished with that. Uh, I never called the sheriff. Hernandez. Hi, are you the sheriff? Yes, ma'am. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. Oh, yeah, how's that doing? Doesn't he sound like the guy from Scarlet Hand? One. Alejandro Del Rio? At the consulate? Not yeah. really. I feel like that could you be his voice actor. Of course, I'm the sheriff. I hear everything. Oh, maybe. You gonna pull through? It looks that way. Talk yes. about the conquistadors. The hospital that for was. a day or two, just to be sure. Good, that's good. Only met him a couple of times, but I liked him. He and his wife, what's her name? Bet, short for Elizabeth. They seem real determined to make a go of that place. I like that. So, what can I do for you? Did you hear about the phantom horse that showed up at Shadow Ranch last night? Did you say phantom horse? Just before Ed was bitten by that snake, this glowing horse came galloping up outside, then went galloping away. Glowing horse? Sounds to me like somebody's playing a joke. Friend of Shorty's out there, trying to get a rise out of him, and probably succeeding knowing Shorty. Do you know most of the men who work mm. at Shadow Ranch? I know them all. That doesn't mean I'm best buddies with them, but it's a pretty small world out here. And I've either known or known of those boys for years. And they're all stand-up guys, as far as you know? I'd vouch for every single one of them. Thanks for your help. You bet. I'm the downplay out, huh? I'm like the sheriff's in on <laughs> Hello? Hey, Bess. and decent food what's the latest would you believe i found a letter that dirk valentine wrote to francis humber no way it was locked up in this chest that belonged to her father and the letter was never opened according to his journal her father intercepted it and locked it away before francis could read it so did you read it of course she did i mean she better have it said that dirk hid a bunch of his loot somewhere I love it when outlaws hide loot, don't you? What'd the letter say? Well, evidently, Dirk wanted Francis to have the loot he'd stashed, so he set up this elaborate treasure hunt for her. The letter contained all sorts of weird, obscure clues to help her find what he'd hidden. But if the letter was never opened, Francis couldn't have found the treasure. Oh my gosh, it could still be out there. And someone could be using that phantom horse to chase the Raleigh's off the ranch because they want to be the ones to find it. We're stuck here. When we could be there with you looking for hidden loot? That does it, George. We're suing the airline and the airport. I finally went for a trail ride. You went horseback riding? I rode to this store that this woman named Mary Yazzie owns. She seems to have a bit of an attitude problem when it comes to the Raleigh's. And she trains horses in her spare time. Whoa, definitely another suspect. I'm not sure what I should do next. Check that task list you keep in your notepad or the case notes you keep. Maybe those will help. How about some hints? I think that can be arranged. What do you need? Ooh. I'd love to see what's inside this old trunk at Mary's, but I need a hint when it comes to opening it. It probably opens just like that compartment in the blanket chest did. Put those three wrench things in the square holes. But which way does she turn them, Bess? That's the hard part. Maybe that romantic hearts and doves design has something to do with it. Let's see. Who could you call that would know something about things that are old? I could sure use a hint when it comes to using that piece of paper Dirk left for Francis to keep track of where the rock pictures are. Whenever you see a petroglyph, just click on the grid, and two letters that mark its place on the grid will appear below. Just make sure that where you click on the grid corresponds as closely as possible to the position of that particular petroglyph out in the desert. Okay. If you're careful, pretty soon all those letters will spell out a message. That's it. Dude, for I now. didn't know they had Stay that technology in the 1800s. Yeah, me neither. Oh, Charlena Purcell, the romance writer. She might know. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? Concerning? I'm staying at a ranch in central Arizona, and since she knows so much about the history of Arizona, I thought maybe she could answer some questions for me. Questions concerning? 
Well, I came across a very old trunk that might contain stuff that has to do with these people named Dirk Valentine and Francis Humber. Only I can't open it. Did you say Dirk Valentine? And his girlfriend, Francis Humber, yes. Ah, but would you hold, please? Thank you for holding, and thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novels, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels, it recently received the Catherine Coop Award for Historical Excellence. Reading a Charlena Purcell novel is like traveling through time to the Old Southwest on the wings of love. This is Charlena. Who is this again? Uh, Nancy Drew. Tell me about the trunk you found. Well, to open it, I need to put these wrenches in these three holes. But I don't know in which directions they need to be pointing. That does sound like it came from the Humber family. Is there any kind of picture on it? Yes, as a matter of fact, there's this kind of abstract design made up of hearts and doves and the initials E-H and A-H. E-H would be Eldridge Humber and A-H would be Abigail Humber. Frances Humber's grandparents on her father's side. Her mother died when she was ten. Now, the picture no doubt commemorates their wedding day, which was... 4-9-11. Oh. April 9th, 18 4-9-11. Okay. Why do you know so much about the Humbers? I've been running across fascinating tidbits concerning the Humber family and stashing them away for years. When I have enough tidbits stashed away, I may well write a book about them. Then you'd probably be very interested to know what's in this trunk. Yes, I would. And since I've helped you, or tried to, it's only fair that you help me, don't you think? Sure, I'll keep you posted. Did I mention that I'm staying at Shadow Ranch? This just gets better and better. I'll tell my assistant to put your calls through immediately. By the way, why are you so interested in the Humbers? Knowing more about them and what happened in the past may help me figure out something that's going on in the present. I'm kind of a detective. That makes two of us. I'll be waiting to hear from yeah, you. Yeah, but you're an author. She sells real crimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you mind if I tried to get this open? Please do. In fact, if you get it open, I'll let you keep something from it. You can have your pick. I got the trunk open! Great, thank you. Go ahead and take something from it. You deserve a reward. I wonder how you open this. I wonder how you open this. Bingo! F.H. Francis Humber? Under, hmm, wonder what that means. Green bottle under. I'll take a picture of that just in case we need it. Well, I don't think I want anything else. If I want something else from the trunk, I should put back what I took before. Yeah, I'll keep the pocket watch. Hi, can I help you with something? It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Huh. I thought she would want to know that I opened the thing, but I guess not. Well, she sure it does know. Okay. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? She told me to put you right through. She even told me to make sure you didn't have to listen to that recording. <laughs> you really rave. Hello, Nancy. So, what have you discovered? I opened that trunk and found a locket watch in it that used to belong to Francis. And was anything in the locket watch? Half a picture. I'm pretty sure what's there is a picture of Francis. I think the missing half was of her father. Anyway, on the back it said, Green Bottle Under. Hmm. Wonder what that means. 
I was kind of hoping you'd know. Sorry, I know a lot about the Humbers, but I don't know everything. What happened to all of Dirk Valentine's ill-gotten gains, that's what I'd really like to know. What do you think happened to it? The rumor is Dirk hid his fortune in such a way that only Francis would be able to find it. And seeing that he was basically just a high-spirited, fun-loving guy who loved taking risks, I tend to believe it. But the fact that after Dirk's demise, she spent the rest of her life teaching school in Ohio strongly suggests that she never found the treasure. So the rumor probably isn't true. I have reason to believe that it is. Really? Tell me. I found a letter from Dirk that Francis never read. It told her how to start looking for what he'd hidden for her. His clues were rather obtuse, though. For example? For example, he refers to her favorite flowers and the flowers on her favorites. Do you know what that means? No, and that's the problem. Whatever clues he left for her no doubt relate to things only she and no one else would understand. Well, I'm going to try to figure it out anyway. That's the spirit. And if you think there's something I can help you with, please, do not hesitate to call. Talk to you soon. That would be great. All right. Did we call the sheriff already? Oh, yes, we did. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. yes. So let's talk to the boys. See how their computer... Oh, boyos. Hardy resident. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I think Catch I'm you later. Good. Adios. Happy trails. All right. I'll save the game because we've made some progress. I named it Shadow. Oh, it auto names it. Oh, okay. okay. No more Lagom. <laughs> I need a rope. Oh, I don't have a rope. I need to go get it. The bird. Yeah. Stupid bird. E. Ben, Benny, 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 Benny's adventure team. Assemble. Oh, <laughs> maybe not.
Ske. I'm gonna need to get a rope to see more. I'm gonna need to get a rope. Birds. Bob do the walking. Music. I don't know why. I know, this intense, scary music. I'm just in some place in the middle. Uh oh. Oh! Yeah, I'll. Yeah. Oh! She did. Um, I. Uh. Uh. No. Just. Back away. Yeah, just back away. It's going to see a rattlesnake. Better not leave old Bob behind. Nah. Well, I'm going to need to get a rope. Yep. Ooh, does that make the sheriff a suspect? Uh-huh. Mmm. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. I haven't done that yet. I'm finished with that. Can't check that off yet. That's done. Hmm, maybe... Maybe I should call the Raleigh's. I'm finished with that. Ask them about that property Mary was trying to buy from them. Let me see if I can call them. Oh, there's no signal here. Makes sense. Okay. Let's go back to Shadow Ranch. You sound surprised. You and your friends, if they ever show up, you ain't gonna last more than three days out here. Well, I hope you hey. like surprises, Tex, because you're in for one. City folk can't take living out here. Too rugged, too much work, too dangerous. I need a rope. Do you think I could borrow yours? Nope. Okay. Talk to you later. Or... Yahoo. Yahoo. Call the Rollies. See if I can talk to him about anything. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy again. Hi, Nancy. It's Nancy. I can hear that. How is Mr. Raleigh doing? Let's get something straight right now. Even though we're Bet and George's aunt and uncle and not yours, I want you to call us Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed too. <laughs> Got that? All right. <laughs> now, what was the question? How is Mr. Ro 
I mean, Uncle Ed doing? Well, he's finding a slight fever, so the doctors are a little concerned. Oh, I'm fine. They're going to keep him here overnight, just to make sure he isn't developing some kind of infection. Oh, but enough about us. How are you doing? I delivered that envelope to Mary Yazi like you asked. She seemed a little upset when she read that you'd turned her down. I'm sorry to disappoint her, but if we sell that property to her, it would send a signal to other would-be buyers that we're interested in selling the ranch off bit by bit, and we're not. What does she want the property for? I have no idea. The parcel she wants to buy is nowhere near her store, and there's nothing but rocks on it. Maybe someone else there at the ranch knows, but we sure don't. I heard about the phantom horse. Was last night the first time it showed up? As far as I know, it was the strangest thing. Shorty kept babbling about how it was the ghost of the horse that belonged to some outlaw. Dirk Valentine? But that was right after Ed got himself bit, and we were all running around trying to get him into the truck to take him to the hospital, and I really wasn't paying much attention. Do you have any idea where the horse came from? None whatsoever. She wants to know where that phantom horse came from. I was hoping she could tell us. You're the detective, dear. If you want to snoop around and see what you can find out about that creature, by all means, please do. Why do you have a painting of Francis Humber? I just thought it would give the den some character, that's all. I found it in the tack room under a pile of junk. So the former owners left behind a lot of stuff? I swear, it's like no one who lived at Shadow Ranch ever bothered to take their things with them when they left. When we moved in, the place was literally full of junk. What did you do with it? I sold most of it to Mary Yazzie. She gets a lot of antique collectors in her store. Some things I kept, like Francis's favorite recipe. And that ridiculous blanket chest. You insisted on keeping that. Oh, yes. And I kept that triangular-shaped chest in the den. It used to belong to Merrill Humber. He was Francis's father. And I figured since I was keeping that picture of Francis, it was only fair that I keep something of his. What kind of logic is that? Oh, hush. It doesn't look like Bess and George <laughs> are going to get here today. That's too bad. Why not? Their plane had to land in Omaha because of mechanical problems. They don't know when they'll be taking off. So, you'll have all those cowboys to yourself for a while. That Dave is pretty cute. He seems a little standoffish. Oh, he's just a little bashful. He'll warm up to you. He's quite a handyman. Very trustworthy. I'll be in touch. All right, dear. Bye now. All right. Well, speaking of Dave, let's go say hi. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I found a letter that may have been written by Dirk Valentine to Francis Humber way back in the 1880s. What do you know about them? I know there's a painting of her over in the ranch house, and that's about it. Why? What'd the letter say? The letter made it sound like Dirk was sending Francis on some kind of treasure hunt. Well, if the guy did hide something, it's probably long gone by now. I'll let you get back to work. Take care. Okay, well, nothing much there. Maybe we could talk to Shorty. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Have you ever met Mary Yazi? Of course. Nice lady. I mean, for the most part. Gets real unfriendly when the subject of the Raleigh's comes up. Do you know anything about the piece of property she's been trying to buy from the Raleigh's? Well, I know she says she wants to buy it because she feels spiritually drawn to it. But I think she's got something up her sleeve. Oh, Nancy, it's great having you here. I mean, I like to talk, you know? I like to converse, to debate, to discuss. You like to gossip, don't you? More than anything. Which isn't a bad thing. People like you and I are fascinated by the human condition, that's all. So, who else do you want to talk about? Uh, <laughs> nobody really. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Well, I need a rope. Miss Nancy. How may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. I need a rope. Oh, man. You know what? Come on. Let me have a rope, sir. No sense going in there without a horse to ride. Look, Bub. <laughs> I need a rope. <laughs> need something? <laughs> Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. I... Oh, my God. No rope for you. Something's not. Yeah. Can't check that off. Can't check that off. Can't check that off till it's done. I haven't done that yet. Build a cooking fire outside. Can't check that. I'm a little bit confused here. Maybe it's like other things you'll just stumble upon. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe Mary Gazi does one. Could ask 
Whisperer, I guess. We'd have to go riding again, but... Yeah, Shorty's not asking me to do anything. And I, I can't find the rest of the, the wood that I need. So, I'm a little bit stuck right now. Is there anything in here? That I can borrow? No. No. Alright. Do you have anything? Hello, Nancy. No. Something I can do for you? I'll let you get back to work. See you later. I need a rope. Um, let me see something. And they might tell me just to look at the... Let me see. Hello? Me again. What's the status of your plane? Nobody will tell us a thing. And now a bunch of really dark clouds are rolling in. What's going on with you, Nan? Has either of you two ever read anything by an author named Charlena Purcell? She writes romance novels that take place in the Old West. That rules me out. I saw her on a talk show once. Seemed kind of full of herself. Why do you ask? Mm -hmm. I had to call her in order to open this old trunk at Mary Yazzie's. She knows a lot about the people who used to live at Shadow Ranch. I bet I know more about 19th century clothing design than she does. Oof. I found a locket that belonged to Francis Humber. It had a picture in it with the words green bottle under written on the back. Maybe the bottle's a clue to where Valentine's loot is hidden. I doubt it. If Francis never saw that letter from Dirk that her father intercepted, she couldn't have found the treasure, which means she couldn't have left a clue as to its whereabouts in that locket. Well, that green bottle obviously meant something to her. I think you should find it first and ask questions later. That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. Turn. Well, they don't want you here. That's rude. I'm trying to make sure I did not miss any kindling. No. No. Hmm. No. I got that there. goodness. I think we can build that fire now. Watch, you still need more tin. No, 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 no. So far, so good. That should do it. There you go. There. One extremely well-built campfire, if I do say so myself. Great looking fire, Nancy. Nice job. Okay, now maybe I can talk to Shorty. Miss Nancy, no. how may I be of service? That's, well, no. I'd better get going. Really? Pleasure talking to you. Well, okay. Whoop de doo. Whoop de doop de doo. Where are you? Check. I really need a rope. I really need a rope, sir. Are you sure? Need something? Yes, a rope. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Just stay out of trouble. Oh, you're terrible. Suspiciously settles for some cookie or missing. Guess I'm just gonna ride Bob again. I don't know why. So let's see if Mary Oz would be the one. Yeah. Mm. Come on, Bob. <laughs> see, there's a rope right there. Mm, see if I can grab it. No. Okay, Mary. Did I look at 
everything thoroughly that she had in here? I think I did. Hi, can I help you with something? Wow. Okay. It was yeah. So how do you get that by. rope? I don't know. I don't know. I have no. Clue. Guess go out and grab some plant material <laughs> and start making yourself a rope. Start crafting. Grow some grass and such and yourself a rope. I think I'll let Bob do the walking. It's pretty lazy though, Bobby and Nancy Drew. Yeah. You got legs for a reason. You think she'd know. You think. Nothing here. Did that mule happen to have a rope on him? I don't know. I think I'll let Bob do the walking. Uh huh. We know. We know. I don't have any way to, to keep that snake back right now, so I'm not going to mess with it. Um, yeah, this is... Okay. Maybe we got to go back to the pictograph area. something nearby to help me deal with that snake. I need a rope. If I had a rope, I could lasso that tree branch and pull myself up. I need a rope. I need a rope. I need a rope. Go to Home Depot, Nancy. There's no Home Depot here, man. There should be. There isn't. There's like no one else you can get a rope from. Yeah. And neat. Okay. Oh. Ale. This is all I can do. This is all I can do. I literally have to go ask for a rope. Can't check that. I haven't done that yet. Can't check that off yet. I. Needs to give me a rope, okay? Tex needs to give me a rope. I I can't do anything else until I get a rope. I guess you're just not able to get one right now. You gotta find something else to do, I guess. Come on, Bob. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Oh, I was trying right. to take it off. Oops. Bye, Bob. Yes. Bobby. 
Good old Bob. Bob. Uh... Oh, I better put that back. Who's eating the Coco Kringle? Uh oh. I bet it was Bob. Hey, wait a minute, that's mine. Tex, I'll just steal it. Who's that from? Jay Nash. Do you remember Jay Nash? Dane. Exactly, the letter. The girl who got fired. <laughs> Interesting. Happy birthday! Oh my gosh, Jane Nash is Texas' sister. Hmm. So his sister was fired. Oh, well, guess it makes Need something. Sense. Any, doesn't, I understand didn't you notice. have a sister named Jane Nash. So what if I do? I found a pretty nasty letter from someone named Jane Nash in the Raleigh's desk. That don't mean it was my sister. Hey, you've been snooping, haven't you? In the Raleigh stuff? In my stuff? I'm just very observant, that's all. My business ain't none of your business. And that includes any sisters I may or may not have. You need to go. I'm busy. Oh, okay. I'm busy. Bye. Busy. And she'll be coming around the mountain when she goes. Oh, You're late. I can't take any more. Where are you going? You can't leave. The Raleigh said we were to have a cookout and entertain our guest. Yeah, well, I don't call this entertainment. It's worse than whatever that stuff was you cooked. That was lamb ragu for your information, and it was great. If you couldn't appreciate it, it's because your taste buds are about as sophisticated as a sand fleas. I think I'll turn in too. Night, ma'am. Next time, just stick to burgers. At two, Brute. Mm. You see that? You see what I put up with? Day in and day out, I cast my culinary pearls before ungrateful, uncultured swine. Well, I'll show them. I'll write a uh -huh. best selling cookbook, that's what I do. Then I'll get my own TV show, then I'll do a movie, and while they're out here punching cattle, I'll become a gazillion man. Uh, all right. Oh gosh. Whoa. Oh, that's a leak oh, there. No. That's no bueno. And you say this happened right after that phantom horse showed up again? The pump house blew just as the horse was galloping away. Oh, my, this is awful. Maybe Shorty was right. Maybe that horse is a bad omen. I'm more inclined to think that someone is using that horse to divert attention. What do you mean? It's possible that while everyone's attention was on that horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. Why on earth would someone sabotage the pump house? Someone may be trying to chase you off the ranch. But why? That, I don't know. Yet. You don't think Tex or Shorty or Dave is somehow involved, do you? It's possible, but I just don't know yet. Oh, my. You might not be safe there. Maybe we should send her home. I'll be fine. Really, I want to help. And I can help. Well, it sounds like we could certainly use your help. Can you think of anyone who might have a grudge against you? No, but I'll tell you what. Ed and I will put our thinking caps on, and if anything comes to us, we'll call you. Have you called the sheriff and told him all this? Not yet. Tell her about the storm. Tell me about the what? The storms. You need to be careful when you go riding, because it can be sunny one minute and pouring down rain the next. I'll be careful. Good. And if you have any more questions, just call. One more thing. Until I figure out what's going on, it would probably be a good idea not to mention my suspicions to anyone at the ranch. Of course. Keep in touch. I will. Bye. All right, well, let's call the sheriff then. Hernandez. This is Nancy Drew. I'm the one who's staying at Shadow Ranch. I remember. In fact, I spent a good part of last night out there. I know. I never got a chance to talk to you. Is there something I can do for you? 
Okay, I guess not. Okay. You bet. That was told the told the sheriff well, about was that, this. Was that all? Bruh. Hernandez. Hello, Cheryl. Oh, it's Nancy gosh. Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? Thanks for your help. You bet. I guess we don't need to tell him anything. No. Hello? Where are you guys? You've got to get out here. I saw the Phantom Horse last night. You know what we saw last night? The inside of a motel room in St. Louis. St. Louis? Our plane finally took off at 7 last night. We didn't call you because we wanted to surprise you. Only the next thing we knew, we were being diverted to St. Louis on account of bad weather. So the airline put us up at a motel. But when we came back to the airport this morning, guess what? You're fogged in. We're fogged in. I have never seen fog this thick. Visibility's three feet top. You can barely drive in the stuff, let alone land and take off. So I never went by subject. So you saw the phantom horse? Last night, right after the campfire, this glowing horse appeared out of nowhere, then went galloping away. And right after that, the main pipe in the pump house sprang a leak. Another case of bad luck? I think not. So while everyone's attention was on the horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. First the rattlesnake, now this. Yikes. I found a half-burned note that had a bunch of gibberish on it in the fire pit. Gibberish? You mean, like a code? That could be why someone tried to burn it, so no one else at the ranch would ever know what it said. Maybe it was about the sabotage. That's just what I was thinking. So just find a way to decode that message, and you'll be all set. That's it for now. Two words, Nancy. Call us. All right, let's see how the boys are doing. Oh, boyos. Hardy residents. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? Apparently nothing. Catch you later. Stay safe. Watch out for varmints. All right, let's check in with... Oh. Hey, ain't her. Mineral deposits? What is Shorty doing Girl with a map? Mine, or... Shady mine, perch mine. Wow. Shut up. Rattlesnake mine. That isn't the thing we saw, is it? What is Shorty doing with this? The two bunnies. Can I help you find something? No, actually, I pretty much found everything on my own. For your information, I got those maps because I was hoping there might be a long-lost gold mine or two around here. But like most of my get-rich-quick ideas, it didn't pan out. Apparently, there's no gold left in them thar hills. Or silver, or copper, or anything else. Now, I don't ever want to catch you in my stuff again. Mm-hmm. Yes? I'd like to apologize. Just proves we're birds of a feather. I've been known to go poking through other people's stuff myself. Got Jeez. any chores you want me to do? Do exactly what you did for me yesterday, and I'll be forever grateful. Start by picking all the ripe stuff in the garden again. Baskets outside. Have you been out to the pump house? All the water to the ranch house has been cut off. The livestock will still get water from the windmills, but we humans are going to have to get every single drop of water we use from the faucet in the pump house. And that's going to be a royal pain. Why can't that darn horse do its cursed thing somewhere else? You really think what happened to the pump house was the result of bad luck? I saw the pipe. It was rusted through. That's why it burst. That and bad vibes from that equine banshee. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Hey, you called the those vegetables banshee. for me yet? Not yet. I need those vegetables, Nancy. Of course you do. Uh, I could call it a banshee when it didn't howl. Yep. Alright, let's hope I do it right this time. I'm gonna save. Okay. Ah! <gasps> Battling. Oh! What? That'd be a sniff. Oh boy. Wait. Sniff. Uh, well, good. Oh. Uh. Uh. No. Oh. I'm just gonna ignore it and pretend it's not there. Just don't look. Just don't look at it. 
quite the place. Yeah. You just, you don't look good. It's so hot, I should get these leave. vegetables into Shorty right away. I always had There's a policy. Stuff policy. Out there it all that. snakes. There is. There's more rap stuff, really? I mean, you gotta do something about that snake. I mean, come on. Okay, I hope that was it's it. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Oh, no. You got stuff in here that isn't ripe yet. Picking stuff before it's ripe is a waste of perfectly good food. Oh, boy. Now go back out there and be more careful. Right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's all now. Bye -bye. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's more rap stuff out there than that. There is? Um, what? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's more rap stuff out there than that. There is? There's uh, more rap uh, stuff out there than that. There is? I'm scared. Um. Red room ripe, okay, no. Golden queen, orange, nope. Black turtle. these what are their lights what are their lights maybe that's it I colored them right no think so. Oh, man. Uh, I'm, I don't want to pick the wrong thing here. I really don't. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Some of this stuff's overripe, but I'll just pitch it. Now, if you just oh. fill that egg basket for me again, we'll be all set. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. Great. I didn't I'll die. Work. Okay. This time. Easy feed hopper. Oh. I think I know what I'm going to have to do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow! Yikes! Maybe I'll come back when she's not in such a foul mood. Ha. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Okay, let me see now if I go back if it's gone. Maybe I gotta like go in the house. 
when I could go over here, maybe. I better not go in there until I call the sheriff. Oh. Well, that's how I have to call the sheriff. Mm -hmm. anyways so what was the point of that got those eggs for me right here good for you I need you to do one more thing it's Tex's birthday the Raleigh's told me to make him a cake now if I make it he'll throw a fit but if you make it he might actually appreciate uh. it so why don't you dig a cake recipe out of the recipe box and have at it I don't care when you make it just so it's done by the end of the day the icing's already made could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Okay, we're gonna make a cake. There we go. Okay. First thing I'll need to make that cake is a mixing bowl. Oh, you got much more than a mixing bowl. Oh, where's my recipe? This is not the right time. Uh... Wait, missed. Wait, I, um, I don't, um, I need to look at the recipe. Okay, one cup of butter. Okay, one stick is a half cup, so we need two of these. You know, I'll just take a picture of the recipe card so I don't have to keep doing this. Just look at this. Okay. I need two eggs. Okay, that's one. Okay, I need one and two thirds cup of milk, so I need about five of these. flour. Oh, how many pints is a cup? I didn't check that chart by the fridge. Um. Hmm. Zero point five equals one cup. Okay. If we're going by actual stuff. Okay. Okay, so I need two of these. Okay, three teaspoons of baking powder. about seven of these. Six. And three teaspoons of vanilla. One. Better butter. <laughs> Eve. All right. Um, this one. Looks like I'm going to have to guess how long to cook it and what temperature to use. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes and medium. Perfect. Maybe I should try a little, just to be sure. I should put that icing Shorty made on it. 
What are these? I made you that flower Francis mentioned in her recipe. I cut all the pieces out of marzipan using her old forms, but I'll be darned if I can figure out how the pieces go. Hmm. It's a tulip. What's this? That's food coloring, so you can paint that marzipan flower. There we go. Perfect. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Miss Nancy, Ooh. how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Cake is done. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand, yo. <laughs> Make like a tree and roof. I haven't done that. Can't check that off. Can't check that off till it's done. I haven't done that. Oh, all right. Well, I should go call the sheriff now. Oh, what's this place? WGS, this is Geza. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Not too long ago, you provided this person I know with a map that showed the locations of mineral deposits in central Arizona? That's what I'm here for. Is it unusual for an ordinary citizen to request a map like that? Depends on which map it was. The number on it was PUB893A. Publication 893 Alpha. Alpha. Let me get it on my screen here. Yeah, that's a map somebody use if they wanted to go prospecting in their spare time. What's this person's name? Uh, Shorty Thurman? Shorty Thurman. Yep, there he is. According to my notes, he just started a job in the Shadow Mountain area and figured he'd go looking for gold on his off hours. You keep notes on all the calls you get? In a bureaucracy like this one, you never know. When something goes south and fingers start pointing, it's always good to have your side of the story all nice and documented. How likely do you think it is that Shorty will find any gold around Shadow Mountain? Oh, he might find a nugget or two, but from the looks of the maps I sent him, any ore out there would be of such low quality that attempting to extract gold from it would be pointless. That's interesting. What is? Apparently this Shorty person asked me if I knew anything about Dirk Valentine's treasure. Really? Do you remember what he said? As I recall, he'd heard a rumor that some outlaw had buried some kind of treasure near Shadow Mountain. He thought it might be in an old mine shaft or something. And what did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't know anything about it. Well, thank you, Geza. No problem. What did you say your name was again? Nancy... Drew. Nancy Drew. Asked a lot of questions. Didn't buy any maps. Uh -huh. But she really appreciated your taking the time to talk to her. Be sure to put that in your notes too, okay? Got it. Goodbye, Miss Drew. Bye. Interesting. What do you think about that? Well, he's certainly interested in the treasure. Mm -hmm. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? Would it be all right if I looked around in the pump house? Sure. I'm all done in there. Should I have my deputy take that sign down? Mind my asking why you want to look around? Wait a minute. Dave told me about you. You're the girl detective. Amateur detective. I don't know. Dave seemed to be real impressed with you. In more ways than one, I might add. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Do you notice Nancy's boyfriend, Ned, is not in her directory for some reason? I've noticed yeah. that for the last several games. Where did he go? They broke up. Oh, <gasps> no. Gasp. Looks like the pipe is pretty badly corroded. 
At least we got an arrowhead, and so who cares? A random arrowhead? <gasps> well, where did you come from? Uh, where did you come from? Well, see, I just, I mean, I'm looking for Dirk Valentine's treasure. Then you lied before when you said you didn't know who Dirk Valentine was. Yes, ma'am. See, my great aunt Ellie was Francis Humber's cousin. When she died, she left me a bunch of stuff, including an old letter she'd gotten from Francis. In the letter, Francis said that Valentine had hidden a bunch of loot somewhere and wanted Francis to find it by following the clues he left for her. Francis was real smart, see? Loved puzzles, played the piano pretty good, too. Anyway, after Valentine met his end, Francis was too brokenhearted to care about some treasure. She told Aunt Ellie that if she could find it, she could keep it. I also found this picture. That's Francis's father, Sheriff Merrill Humber. Hmm. There's something written on the back. Stairs to cellar. That's Francis's handwriting. <gasps> Looks like the other Green half bottle. of the message got torn off. I was hoping that the treasure might be under the stairs in here, but no such luck. How long have you been digging around down here? About a week. Mostly late at night or whenever I could sneak away. I come and go through a secret entrance. These stairs lead to a secret door behind the bookcase in the den. What do the Raleigh's think about all this? The Raleigh's don't know. I was afraid that if I told them, they'd... See, my brother's dead broke. No job, health's bad. I was thinking if I could just find the treasure... I understand, but now I'm in kind of an awkward position. I know, and I'll tell them, I swear. Soon as they come back, they got enough on their minds right now. What about all the accidents that have been happening around here lately? I don't know anything about that horse or any of the other stuff that's been going on around here, I swear. Now, if you'll pardon me, I need to tend to my chores. No, wait! You don't have to leave! Well, that happened. Yeah. Acid. Wonder what somebody's been using that for. Well, maybe the I mean, pipe corrosion. Yeah. Something's missing. Hmm. Always something missing, Nancy. I guess I'll take it. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to leave just yet. Looks like I'm back in the den. No, you're not. Turn around. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure. Was that everything I could look at? Well, I guess Green Bottle under stairs is talking about somewhere else. Okay. Check. I haven't done I haven't done that yet. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Okay. Well I'm back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, the main pipe. I haven't done- can't check that off till it's Not done. Finish. Hello? It's me. So what's going on there? Have I told you about the cowboys that work for the Raleigh's? No, and believe me, I've been meaning to ask. Well, Dave Gregory, he's the foreman, and he's very cute, Bess. Wouldn't you know it? Anyway, I caught him secretly digging around in the cellar. He knows about Dirk Valentine's treasure, too. What about the other cowboys? Tex Britton, the head wrangler. I'm pretty sure the Raleigh's fired his sister when they lived in Phoenix. He got upset when I asked him about it. Which means you told 
touched a nerve, which means he could be sabotaging stuff at the ranch to help his sister get back at Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed. Better keep an eye on him, Nancy. That's it for now. Thanks for calling. Bye, Nan. Something's missing. I guess we can't look that up right now for some reason. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? What do you know about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly hid around here for Francis Humber to find? If I thought there was a snowball's chance in Tampa that Valentine had stashed any of his loot here, I'd be tearing this place apart. Why? What do you know about it? I just heard about it, that's all. When I heard that rumor, I started reading everything about Dirk Valentine I could get my hands on. But the more I read, the more it sounded like he suckered Francis into believing he'd hidden something for her, just to give people something to talk about when he was gone. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Guess I'm gonna be blushing every time I see you now. Because of that cellar thing? You don't have to be embarrassed, as long as you level with the Raleigh's like you said you would. Actually, I'm kinda glad you came by. Something I need you to do for me, if you wouldn't mind. You bet. This chicken coop's been a thorn in my side ever since I got here. The wire I need to fix the hole in the fence was supposed to be delivered today. But it's not here yet, and the Raleigh's just called and asked me to run an errand for them tonight. So if you could keep an eye out for that chicken wire, and patch that hole as soon as it gets here, the chickens and I'd really appreciate it. Will the wire get here before it gets dark? Doesn't look that way, but you still have to put it up, even if it means working at night. Just be sure to wear gloves. I'll leave my pliers out. If you have to do it at night, that's okay. There should be plenty of moonlight. You'll be able to see fine. Just make sure it gets done, because if it doesn't, the coyotes are gonna have themselves one heck of a banquet and you're gonna be in a lot of hot water. No problem. Now, is there something I can do for you? May I see that letter you said Francis Humber wrote to your great aunt? Sure, got it right here. When I heard you were a detective, I started keeping it on me. Thought you might snoop through my stuff or something. Thanks for letting me see it. Dearest cousin Ellie, my beloved Dirk is no more. I shall never see him again. And now you will never see me again, for I am on my way east, there to spend the rest of my life. I will never return to the territory of Arizona, not even when my father, whom I despise with every part of my being, has left this earth. But know this, sweet Ellie. Dirk told me that he had hidden something of great value, and that when all was in place, he would start me in pursuit of it. He was forever inventing fanciful ways to tax my brain, and was quite clever himself. Then, thanks to my father, he was arrested. Perhaps he wrote me from jail, and his note was lost. Or perhaps he grew to hate me. But he never told me how to find what he had hidden, and I am too heartsick to care. If you can somehow find it, it's yours, my dear young cousin. Know too that I miss you terribly and always, always will. Francis. P.S. Enclosed is a picture of the vilest man ever born. Where was the jail that Dirk Valentine stayed in after he was arrested? Do you have any idea? Probably the one over in Dry Creek. It's a ghost town now, but the jailhouse and a couple other old buildings are still standing. At least they were last I saw. Is it far from here? On your way to Mary Yazzie's, look for the trail on your left that heads towards Shadow Mountain and stay on it till you get there. It's about an hour and a half's ride. This got something to do with the treasure? It might. Well, let me know if you need anything else. I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? Okay. I still need a rope. Maybe Texas in a better mood today. Not that my family's any of your concern, but my sister did work for the Raleigh's back in Phoenix. She got fired, she got mad, but she's over it. Okay. Why didn't you tell me that before? Because it makes me look bad. I figured no one never find out, and when you did, I just got all flustered like. So all the bad stuff that's been going on around here, it's not because you're helping her get back at the Raleigh's for letting her go? Fact is, my sister can be kind of a flick. I'd have probably fired her too. Has anyone tried going after that phantom horse when it appears? Nope. Always something else going on. Like Ed Raleigh getting snake bit, or the pump house blowing up. Plus, that horse is fast. Probably couldn't catch it anyway. 
Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. Feed the chickens and the horses in the corral first. Could be fatal if you mess up, so don't. Great. Talk to you later. Yahoo. Yahoo. message on the pictures refers not to the stairs to the den but to these stairs exactly the desired outcome I, I don't know there's something inside I am glad that you are getting your picture painted wearing your favorite shawl it will be a beautiful painting because you look beautiful in that shawl I forget the name of the stitch you used to make it but I think it is amazing that you learned how to knit a whole shawl just by reading one book I wish I could put my mind to things like you can I am also glad that you like the handbag that I got you I knew it would become your favorite on account of the pretty picture the beads make. I want to know all the things that you like so that I can make sure you always have them. I figure that way you will always want me around. Aww. Meet me on Friday at noon by the big picture rock. I love you, Dirk. Dirk was so sweet. Remember when we were in Cappy's eating the crackers he orders special from California? And you said that from then on the crackers would be your favorite because they would always remind you of me? Well, I met a trader yesterday who had a whole wagon full of them, and I bought you four tins. I also bought a rock from him because this rock has been polished to show a picture that looks just like the landscape by one of our meeting places. He called it an agate and said that the picture was made by nature, but it looks so real I can hardly believe it. I am thinking of a way to surprise you with it because it is as special as you are. I will meet you Tuesday at 3 by the three-armed cactus. Your father has people watching for me all over the county. I guess you got some of your smartness from him. I love you, Dirk. I still don't know how you got a whole cake out to our last meeting place like you did, but it was the best thing I ever ate. And the prettiest, too, what with that fancy flower you put on it. Now I think it is the best cake recipe in the world, too. But nothing is as good as getting a letter from you. Whenever I see a flower like the one on your favorite letter paper, I think of you. I only steal from people who have plenty of money to begin with and deserve to be robbed, but if I could start over, I would forget about them and be a rancher or a farmer or miner or shopkeeper or whatever you wanted me to be, just so we could always be together. Be at Charlie's grave at sunset this Thursday. I love you, Dirk. Oh, that's the mule. Wow. If I ever want to see that letter again, I'm going to have to do the puzzle again, huh? Oh no, I can just grab the bottle whenever. Okay. So there. That was a piece we were missing. That. I'm finished with that. I haven't done that yet. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that Web off till it's done. I haven't done that yet. Web search. Hello? 
It's me. So what's going on there? I found a green bottle with a bunch of love letters from Dirk to Francis inside. Love letters? I love love letters! Was there anything in them about the loot he'd stash for her? No, but there are references to some of her favorite things. And since the letter that Dirk wrote to her from jail mentions that her favorite flowers will help her find the treasure... They might help you figure out what they are. We're stuck here while you get to read love letters? Okay, George. We're suing the airline, both airports, and the weather service. I found an old beaded handbag that may have belonged to Francis Humber. Was there anything in it? No, but if it's the bag that Dirk mentioned in one of his love letters, it could hold some sort of clue. What does it look like? Well, there's a bird on it, but the beads have completely fallen off this one section. However, it does have the name of the manufacturer at the bottom. It was made by the Chicago Mercantile Company back in 1881. That's one of the companies in my book. Is there anything else on it? Yeah, some kind of number. HB3941. Maybe that's what B pattern it is. There's a bunch of phone numbers in this book. Maybe we can track down the pattern for you. That'd be great. Like I said, it could be pretty important. Especially if the part that's missing turns out to have something to do with flowers. We'll get right on it. That's it for now. Stay in touch. That's an order. Okay. Let's see if Charlena can help us with anything. Just in case. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? I came across something that looks like a very old token and has the words Dry Creek Merchants on it. Sounds like you have a piece of Dry Creek script. It was sometimes used in mining towns like Dry Creek in place of currency. Does it have a denomination on it? It says one and a half cents. Probably used for games. You mean, like gambling? I'm sure it was sometimes used for gambling, but I'm talking about mechanical games. Believe it or not, they had some very primitive arcade-type games back in the 1880s. Some were quite entertaining, especially for a cent and a half. Talk to you soon. Look forward to it. Interesting. Old school arcade. Hardy residents. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Catch you later. Adios. Happy trails. Okay, I guess we're gonna feed some chickens. So we can't do much until we get that. Hang meat. around. Mm -hmm. Hang around. Your phone set up working. This is wrong with this generation. <laughs> Two scoops of chicken chow. I'll have you know, I'll have you know that's a delicacy. Sure. Sure hope. Sure hope that scale's calibrated right. Chickens, come and get it. Right. Till you finish doing what I told you to do, you and me got nothing to talk about. Oh, I have to feed the horses too. Yep. Okay.
Dobre. Should be good. Need something? May I go riding now? Oh, Bob's all yours. I set up some barrels and a sawhorse so you can do some barrel racing and practice roping. Whenever you're out there, I'll watch you and time you. If you get good enough, like, say, you get your time below 10 seconds, and if you can lasso the sawhorse, like, say, four times out of five, I'll give you your very own lariat. You can practice as much as you want whenever you want. Just don't go walking off with my rope, because I'll be watching. Talk to you later. He's going to no give us hurry. our own rope. Oh, oh I guess so. Good. Oh, wait, I need to get his saddle. Just missed. Gotcha. Perfect.
missed. Do over. Oh. You got two out of five. Okay, let me try again. Perfect. Gotcha. I'm kind of liking this Red Dead Redemption game. Yeah, this Red Dead Redemption game is the bomb. Yes! Oh! Missed. Missed it. Missed. Oh! That's three out of five. Dang it. Gotcha. Congratulations. Do I get to keep it? Yes, find the oh. gotta go. Oh. Wait. Then we gotta talk to him? Maybe I have to do this. Probably. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Nine point five. How about that? You did it. All right. Now I can get my own lariat. I did the barrel race in under 10 seconds and roped the sawhorse four out of five times. Do I get a lariat? Yep, here you go. I'm kind of surprised at you. Why? Figured you'd be good for some laughs out there. You weren't. Ah. Uh, I got a lot of hope. This little vacation of yours ain't over with yet. Can I go riding? Can I go riding again? Yep. Talk to you later. If you last that long. Okay, goodbye, Dirk the Dirk. No, what's the name? Dirk. I, was, I called him Dirk. I was gonna call him Dirk the Jerk, and I just realized his name's Tex, so. That was not gonna work. <laughs> Later, Tex. Tex just annoys me. He's just so grumpy and. Can't even just give me a rope. He's a walking stereotype. Come on, Bob. What, like a grumpy cowboy? <laughs> yeah. Grumpy. Be a farmer rancher. That looks like Mary Yazi. Mm. I think I had to go clockwise around the entire area. Yeah. Just to get to an area, just to get to the spot that's right next to the home. Ta da! Alright. Hmm. 
You have to have this cool ethereal music for this area. Yeah. Or dramatic, I guess. It's not so much ethereal anymore with this guitar. It's pretty cool, though. He has, he has cool guitars. Lease. Lease on what? Lease on their car? Probably. In the 1800s, yeah. Lease on the car. That's a treasure. A lease. Beneath Cappy's keys, Cappy's name, please. Interesting. Beneath Cappy's keys, P Cappy's name, please. That's what we got from that. All that. I don't think I won't. I'm finished. Okay. Let's go to Dry Creek. I don't think we've been there yet. Yeah, we haven't been there. I remember that's um I keep wanting to call him Lenny from of Mice and Men, but his name's not Lenny. Cappy. Um, Tess? Is that his name Happy? The cook the cook guy. Oh cook. Oh his name yeah, is cook, um Oh uh, what is that? I forget his name. But he was he was interested in the treasure too, but he he, he kind of didn't want you to know, it seems like, but he oh, was, was he got maps of this area. He's apparently looking for something. I keep wanting to call him Lenny, but his name's not Lenny. Shorty, his name's Shorty. Shorty, okay. I don't know why I associate him with Lenny from Puck Probably just a bird. And it's just a bird. Sure, just a bird. Do we have to go into the sheriff's office? The old sheriff's office or mm -hmm. something? Mm -hmm. We're looking for a clue there or something. Yikes! The walls in there look like they could fall down any second. You only live once, Ned, so you gotta go in there. It's locked. So much for finding out what Dirk left in the cell for Francis. Aww. Wait, that's not that's not the way you're supposed to say it. It's luck. Yeah, she said it wrong. She said it wrong. And what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna huff and huff and storm out of here. So I'm gonna do about it. Wow. I bet that's where they hung them am, too, right there. I'm angry. Interesting symbols, if it were. Hmm. I like I've seen symbols something somewhat like that before. Oh, hmm. The wow. sheriff. I'm gonna give him a call. Oh. No, no signal. Dang it. You're no. out in the boonies. I You're haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. I don't know where Cappy's keys are and I can't find Pappy, so what gives? I feel like I'm at a dead end over here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Cool. Mm, another airhead. Yay.
Yeah, maybe I need to go back to that, uh... Uh... Yeah, no. No, I don't. Oh. Can you explain it to me? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the trail stop. Dead Man Creep, that is a lovely name. I wonder what you find there. Probably a lot of living people. Okay. So I imagine. So, I wanted to... Better not leave old Bob behind. I'm trying to get to that rock again. Okay, so, there was, you know, rest in peace. And, where was that? This. Yeah, there's a snake under there. I can't get the snake. Because I don't... Yeah, I don't have a stick or anything to... Oops. This is very confusing. Um... Can I use the phone? No. I'm gonna go to Mary Yazzie's. Because I think she has... Soul service there. Maybe we can call the sheriff and get permission to go inside that building. I doubt Mary has anything to say to us, but... Hi, can uh, I help you with oh, something? Oh, okay. I saw you riding earlier near Shadow Ranch. Do you ride around there a lot? You're mistaken. Shadow Ranch is private property. I never ride there. You must have seen somebody else. Okay. I'm sure the Raleigh's don't mind if you ride on their land. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. So don't go telling people you saw me trespassing, because you didn't. Excuse me. Oh. I can't talk oh. right now. Sorry. You can't? No. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Like, if it literally sure. you can't talk? She has no way of talking. Okay. Yeah. I'm tr- Okay. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? I noticed that you put a lock on one of the buildings in the ghost town. Yeah, the support beams in there are about to go. I was afraid some dumb tourist would knock into one of them and bring the thing down, and I'd wind up having to dig them out. If I'm real careful, do you think I could have the combination? It's just an old shack. There's nothing to see in there. I'm just curious. Amateur detective, remember? I'll lock the place back up when I'm done. Well, if you swear you'll be careful. I'll be extremely careful. I promise. Let's see. Where did I put that combination? Ah, here we go. Nine... Two, seven, four. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Nine, two, seven, four. Let's go open it up. Yay. Manual. I wonder what that's doing here. Ooh, what does it say? Oh, okay. I can't open it. Last stone. Interesting. Hmm. Even the crumbs are crisp. Bet. <laughs> Bet? Yeah, but... I bet. I bet they're crisp. Oh, I think I have something for this. Yeah, you got some old minor script. Make the meanest. Okay, I should save my game. I saved it before putting the coin in. Uh, no. Uh, 
Interesting. What? Wait. Interesting. Wait. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, um. 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 Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I don't understand what you're supposed to do here I'll just Looks have to like go someone's been hanging out in oh. here mm -hmm. Looks like I need to put in a password. Password. Hmm. That that's done. Cappy's keys. I haven't done that yet. Look at our Cappy's keys. Oh, you are with the, uh... You, 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 hold on, sure. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Beneath Cappy's keys, Pappy's name, please. Who was Pappy? I bet the password is his name. But, because then one of the thing is find out who Pappy is. I don't know. So, I'm gonna try call... I feel like... Maybe... Maybe Charlena Purcell can help me with some stuff. Possible. I don't know. But she, she'd be a good source of information for all this stuff I don't know. Possibly. So let's go back to Mary Ozzie's and give a call. Or at least try to get a hint or something of how I can find out who Pappy is. Oh, did I call? Did, wait, I don't even think I pressed Shadow Ranch. Is it taking me there automatically right now? That looks like Mary Yazzie and Tex? What? What are they doing over there? I wasn't even ready to leave. Uh. I'm not ready to leave. I just want to make a phone call. I want to call Charlena. See if I can talk to her. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? Do you know anything about Dry Creek? Dry Creek. Closest town to Shadow Mountain. Population at its peak, 317. Leading citizen was Cappy Munger. His establishment contained the only piano within 50 miles. Mm -hmm. Frances, being as smart as she was, taught herself how to play it. That's apparently how she met Dirk. He heard her composing a song one day and fell in love on the spot. I came across a reference to someone whom Dirk referred to as Pappy. Probably his father, Kashmir Valentine. He was a blacksmith over in Prescott. Would Francis have known who he was? Oh, yes. Dirk worshipped his father. Which is ironic, because by the time Dirk was arrested, his father had pretty much disowned him out of shame. Okay, so cashmere. I think that's probably something I need to keep. Yeah, let me take a little picture of that name so I can remember it. Father of, father of uh, uh, Dirk and Great Led Zeppelin song. Would you happen to know the brand name of crackers back in the 1880s, whose slogan was "Even the crumbs are crisp"? Not offhand, but I certainly can't find out. Details like that are why so many of my books have won awards for historical accuracy. Have you read any of my books? Uh, no. But Aunt Beth has. She's a big fan. I realize that my novels aren't everyone's cup of tea. But it wouldn't hurt to at least give them a try, would it? No. In fact, I'll pick one up first chance I get. And I'll send you the name of those crackers first chance I get. Okay. Talk to you soon. I'll be waiting. Uh, yeah, I'm not reading one of your books. <laughs> Come on, Bob. No, Come on, Bob. So stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go try that name we got.
So, is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Okay, it's gonna be cashmere. So. Dare lower. There we go. Take your forks and a crank to the BDI's ranch and make sure you see what's below. When you stick the forks in and give it a spin, off toward my treasure you'll go. Okay, take your forks and a crank. Take your forks and a crank. Hmm, okay, let me take a little picture of this. We don't have any forks. I know Mariazzi had some forks in her shop. Maybe we need to borrow those. Check that off till it can't check that off yet. Let's go. I am getting a definite feeling I'm not alone. Ooh. Uh oh. Let's go to Mary's. If I ask, maybe Mary will let me borrow these. Hi, can I help you with something? I noticed some tuning forks over there. Would it be okay if I borrowed them for a while? Tell you what, if you go out and find me 10 arrowheads for this display I'm working on, I'll give them to you for free. You can put them in this. Mm. You got a deal. There are arrowheads all over this area. You just have to keep your eyes open. You should be able to find ten in no time. As long as you don't dig and only collect arrowheads that the rain and wind have uncovered, you won't be breaking any rules. Do you know anything about the treasure Dirk Valentine supposedly buried somewhere around Shadow Ranch? I know it's a lot of hogwash. What makes you so sure? If I had a dollar for every lost mine or buried treasure story I've heard in the 30 odd years I've lived here, I'd have 10 horses, 2 cars, and possibly my own helicopter. It's nothing but a tall tale. Trust me. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Two more. Hooray. Hooray. Now for another treasure. It's like, uh, gathering white crabs. Mm -hmm. uh, pirates of the Caribbean, and the Pirates of the Caribbean world. That's gonna be a problem. 
I says they're ahead now. Okay. Sorry, my hand. There it is. Ten all right. All, day. Nice. all right. Let's go get those Hoorah. tuning forks from Mary. Hoorah. Hoorah. Okay, Mary, pay up. Wait, did I push trail stop? Or no, 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 no. No, 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 no
I thought they owned it. No. To what that riddle I found what in the piano, piano means? I'd sure be cranky if I had to live in that ghost town. That's all I gotta say. But if you looked at things through beady eyes, you might see things in a brand new light. Uh, what? That's... Catch you later. Stay safe. Watch out for varmints. <sighs> that was helpful. That was quite helpful. This makes no sense. All right. Oh. I'll bet Dirk okay. custom made this, which means I better not go messing around in there. I saw a design just like that in Cappy's. Maybe I'm supposed to do something with it there. Okay. All right. That was lucky. Interesting. When he said brand, I thought like branding, so it made me think of all those little signs we'd be seeing. This outline reminds me of something. It is this. And then some tuning forks, maybe. Oh. Hmm. But I don't have a crank. Hmm. I don't have a crank. Okay, I still, hmm. I still gotta find a crank. So. Let's go back out and investigate some more. Maybe there's more. There wasn't a crank in there, was there? No, okay. Oh, uh, let's go back in here. Yikes! The walls in there look like they could fall down any second. It's locked. Mm. So much for finding out what Dirk left in the cell for Francis. Okay, nothing in here. The, the key, the lady. Yeah, where's the key, Nancy? You're usually good at finding the key. Nah. Nancy's usually the key. Whenever finder. she, whenever she, you know, comes up on my door, she can say it's it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Not this time, boy. This is making me cranky. I can't find the crank. Sonny, don't you just get cranky when you can't find a crank? Kind of turns me off about the whole situation, you know? <laughs> Help. Is it in the outhouse? No. Well... No, those are something else. <sighs> hmm. Nancy, where's the crank? Does this guy have anything? Got a crank, got a man? Crank there, person. No crank in here. Where would we find a crank? Hmm. Do you guys remember anything about a crank? Nope. No. No, oh, no. Hey, from a shadow ranch. Oh, do you think it's at back at the ranch? I don't know, maybe. Only other place where stuff is. I guess. Pot. Wow. And 
keep hot. Well, that crank will work. That was, I had to walk a certain way to get to that. Yikes. That sounded terrible. Man, mm -hmm. I didn't realize you could have an annoying sound like that played through audio of a video game, but here we are. <laughs> Base? Go and peek beneath Zebra Rock, but you'll need a magnet what's there to unlock. I'll need a magnet. Okay. I don't... Get a magnet. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go back to the ranch and go to the fridge. I'm gonna need to get a magnet from there. It's so annoying. I can't even walk out to the fridge and then come back or Tex gets mad at me. So I have to go through all this. Speaking of Tex, where is he? Where is he? I want to talk to him. I want to talk to him. You want to snip around his tools? Oh, oh. wow. Tonight. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oops, Dave uh, said to wear gloves. Uh, I don't got no gloves. I don't got no gloves. You can gloves? What do you I see gloves. Tex must have turned the horses out for where? Night. Where are my gloves? I don't see gloves. Well, you see, I remember you having uh, gloves earlier. It's the thing. Oh, uh, unless you unless you put them back. There we go. Okay, let's go fix this chicken coop. Okay, well, interesting that the chicken coop broke. That doesn't go there. Doesn't it go? That doesn't go there. Okay, cool. Doesn't go there. This puzzle. What in tarnation? That doesn't go there. It doesn't. That looks right. Oh. That looks right. Ah, uh, those coyotes in the distance aren't concerned. Not one bit. That doesn't go there. I hear something in the distance. Um, this goes here. Okay. goes here there sorry coyotes no chicken dinner for you tonight no chicken din din oh my gosh my gosh 
They're glowing. That powder mm. in that ghost town. Oh, the powder in the ghost town on the books is glowing. Um, interesting. Uh oh. Now what? And what now? Uh oh. Transformer blue. That's very uh, not oh. safe. Yep. You found a new. phantom horse again? Was anything sabotaged? The power lines going to the ranch house were either cut or were otherwise disconnected from the house. You mean you don't have electricity? We have a generator. It's pretty noisy, but it sure beats the alternative. But listen to this. When I was exploring the ghost town, I got this powdery stuff all over my gloves. And last night, when it was dark, my gloves were glowing. Glowing? Like the horse? Exactly like the horse. Maybe it glows because someone rubbed some kind of phosphorescent powder all over it. And if you found that stuff in the ghost town, that must be where he or she has been hanging out. Mm-hmm. Which is why I think I'll go back out there first chance I get. And another thing, Dave was suspiciously absent during all the excitement last night. You better be careful, Nancy. If he and whoever's out at the ghost town are working together, they may decide you're a threat. I'll be okay. I'm more worried about you guys. Well, the fog has finally lifted, and they say we will definitely get out of here today. What they won't say is when. That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. <laughs> Kidding. I want to save the game. Because we've had a lot go on. Can't check that off. Can't check that off yet. Oh, let's go say hi to Lenny. Nancy, I figured after last night you'd be long gone. I know I would be if I were you. When the power company turned off the power, did they say when they'd be out to fix the lines? No, they had no idea when they'd be able to send somebody out here. And if he, that generator well, goes, I could be cooking be in the dark for days, weeks. Well, not weeks, because no way am I staying here that long. I'm so freaked out now, I'm not sure I can last one more day. Just hang in there. I have a feeling that all this is going to be over soon. Listen to you. Cool, calm, optimistic. I'm a wreck and you're a rock. Of course, you're also dead wrong and totally deluded, but I'm still impressed. Want me to do anything before I go riding? Same old, same old. If you bring me all the ripe stuff from the garden, I'll give you a basket to fill up with eggs. And once you're done with that, you'll be good to go. Yay. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Every day, go get the vegetables, Cinderella. Go get the eggs, Cinderella. That horseshoe wasn't there before. Maybe the ghost horse threw it while it was running away last night. Uh, isn't it the hard knock life for us, Sonny? Um... I would uh, say so. Yeah, Vic. Yeah. Vic knows. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's more ripe stuff out there than that. There is? There is? I don't want to go. Okay. <laughs> Every day. I'll pick everything and then Shorty will want to kill me. We've been here before. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Good for you. Yay. Now, you just fill that egg basket for me again. We'll be all set. Okay. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Ah, uh, nothing like getting some eggs, right, Vic? Okay. You can find more eggs than that. I can. I can. You can find more oh, eggs than you that. You bet I can. You bet I can. Okay. 
guess I'll go find more eggs. There we go. There's that last egg. You know what? We should talk to Dave. Hello, Nancy. Thanks for fixing that fence. What can I do for you? I'm pretty sure I saw Mary Yazzie riding on the Raleigh's property. Have you ever seen her riding around here? Can't say as I have, but then most of my duties require me to stay close to home. Tex, he's the one you ought to ask. I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Okay. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. We're good to go. Let's go. Ah! Now we can go riding. Go back to the ghost town, find where all that phosphorus powder and my gloves came from. Okay. You are. Need something? I found a horseshoe outside that wasn't there yesterday. I was thinking that maybe the phantom horse threw it. It's got a rock wedged in it. So it does. Looks like the kind of rock you'd find out by the ghost town. I've been to the ghost town, but I didn't see any horse. I'm just telling you what I know. You don't want to hear what I got to say, then quit asking me stuff. Do you go out there much? Nope. And I'll tell you why. Last time I was out there, my horse acted real strange. Even tried to throw me. It was like he saw something I couldn't. Something he didn't like. Something that was telling him to stay away. Did I see you and Mary Yazzie riding together? Me and Mary Yazzie? Of course not. Why, and said more than ten words to her since I got here. You're imagining things. Mm-hmm. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. I took a bridle apart, oiled the pieces, and left them in that can on the shelf. You can't ride till you get the bridle put back together right. Well, if you I took it apart and oiled it, why couldn't you put it back together for me? Talk to you later. If you last that long. I have to put together a bridle in a can. Everyone keeps denying what we've really seen him doing. You know what? Okay, if he's... there's the headstock. Oh, now, let's yeah. see. This is so weird. I'm not good at this. Every time I do this, I'd be like, uh, wait, wait, I got it. No, I don't. Um. No, I don't. Wait. 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 Howdy. What? Sunday help. You're on your own. <laughs> that looks right. Okay. I'm getting there. Okay. This goes here. I'm getting there. So close, but you only got two missing parts.
look at a bridal enough in my life to know what this... is what is this what that looks oh, right okay okay cool 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 okay now this thing um i just feel like it would connect somewhere around here right Nancy, help. Where does this blue thing go? Nancy, the blue thing. about 90, 90 degrees and then put it Perfect. on the side. There we go. Wow. I never want to do that again. Whatever that was, I'm, n I'm not a horse bridle put together. That's it. What? Now I made it real clear What'd that I you do? ain't allowed to go ride unless you check with me first. Oh. So take that saddle off, because from now on, only where you're gonna get anywhere around here is um, on your own two feet. I, um, I, ooh, I'm, you know what? I'm sorry, sir. Maybe because you made me put together a stupid bridle that I forgot to talk to you. Okay? Because you threw off my mojo. Need something? I put that bridle back together. Now may I go riding? Yep. <sighs> Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. I mean, yikes. Mm. The entire game, I just messed up one time. And I forget to pick up my bridle and my saddle. Okay, great. Wait, I already have it? Where is it? Oh. See, text just made me all backwards today. Stupid edgy cowboy. He denies being with Mariazzi. We saw them. Mm hmm. Mariazzi denies even being out there. Come on, Bob. So you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go confront Mary. I'm gonna say, hey, girl. She won't deny it. Come on, Mary. Spill it. Hi. Can I help you with something? Tex told me about, you know, you and him. He did? Yeah, I kind of tricked him into telling me. I don't believe it. He swears me to secrecy, then goes blabbing it to some teenager? Oh, well. It was bound to come out sometime. That's kind of what Tex said, too. I mean, we're in love. What's the big deal? You're what? Wait a minute. He didn't tell you anything, did he? You tricked me. Ooh. Oh, you're good. You are good. Is that what you Ooh. were doing on the ranch when I saw you? Meeting Tex? Yes. 
See, Tex knows the Raleigh's and I have been arguing about that property I want to buy. He's afraid if the Raleigh's find out about us, they'll think he's collaborating with the enemy and fire him. The Raleigh's wouldn't do that. I think the real reason Tex wants to keep it a secret is because he's got this rough, tough loner thing going. I think the idea of changing his image scares him. Knowing Tex, that does make sense. Anyway, Tex and I are in love. We tried to keep it a secret, and we blew it. You know, for a city slicker, you got a lot of country smarts. Why are you so interested in buying that property from the Raleigh's? There's a whole bunch of petrified wood on it. Tex discovered it. Every so often, he'll bring some pieces in, and I'll use it in my jewelry or try to sell it. It was great talking to you. Oh, right safely. Wow, that was very anticlimactic, huh? Yeah. Check. I'm finished with that. Check. There That's done. All right, we're going to go back to the ghost town. Figure out where that powder came from. The stuff I saw in here before is gone. Oh. Looks like I scared somebody off. Darn. Well. Their stuff is gone Maybe too. Maybe this is the key to the jail cell. <gasps> oh. Uh oh. 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 I'm in the jail cell. Oh. Oh, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21? 20. Oh! Hmm. What could, is it? Okay. So far, so good. Okay, it's referring to a number and then the number uh, that were correlates to the alphabet letter. So mm -hmm. five, 10, 14, the 14th alphabet letter. Okay. I'm getting there. Okay, five, 10, okay, so. Under bank. Very good. Lamp? Under bank lamp. Okay. There, we figured something out there. These old bricks must be good for something. It's gonna be one of those throw the brick. I'll bet that's the key. Um, you have rope? Yes, I do. Wait, where'd my rope go? Ah. Okay, there we go. Now I can throw keys or bricks at the key. Okay, let's try that. Perfect! Now I just drag the chair over come to mama wow this was super bright of them yeah they weren't that smart were they whoever clobbered me must have dropped this to hide a message, take the last two letters of a word, reverse them, and then add them to the start of the word. Oh. Use these pictures in place of the word. 
Anyone talks about this, they get a load of buckshot. Dirk. We'll need, oh, remember that, um, that, 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 uh, burnt up letter that said we need more? Hold on, I'll show you. This. Remember this? We'll yeah. need more, okay, so, supplies, we'll need more supplies if house, shelf, again, dirk. Um... Uh, have it right uh, sheriff okay take the last two letters of the word reverse them ones okay so it says will need Right? Am I doing this right? More no, need supplies. More supplies if, if whatever triangle was. Triangle was house ranch. House ranch. If house ranch uh, is not. It is not. Is not. Soon. Is soon. Check. Or. Um, then the window means yellow? Oh no, book message, book message. Book message, and then there's a flag on the shelf. Book message, shelf. Get, um, get, gain, what does it say? Uh, we'll need more supplies if ranch is is not soon check message again Dirk may have hidden it right under sheriff nose I think that's what it says okay too hot interesting so we need to find the bank lamp That's not the bank. Where's the bank? That's not. Where's the bank? Is this the bank? Is this the bank? There's a letter down there. Did like... you know you can play some games more than one way? You can, and I'll tell you how. Use the ring that's the twin of Ellie's your cousin in Cappy's fun machine now. Use the ring? Did you know you can play? Use the ring? Uh, what ring? Hmm. I think we need to get that ring. So now let's see, how would we... Oh, I think Dave has a connection with the cousin, right? So maybe we have to go talk to Dave. Gotta get that ring. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? It seems that Mary Yazzie and Tex have a thing for each other. Well, now you're blabbing it to everyone, aren't you, Nance? You right? Me? 
That's what right. Mary said. I don't think she'd lie about something like that, do you? Stranger things have happened, I guess. And the human heart never does seem to play by the rules. <clears throat> uh, you got a steady back home? Steady? You mean boyfriend? Uh, well, sort of. What about sort you? of? Do you have a girlfriend? Never mind. I'm sort sorry. Of. I shouldn't have asked. Forget I said anything. What do you mean, sort of, Nance? So Is Ned your what boyfriend else can I do for you? Did your great aunt, by any chance, leave you a ring? Sure did. It was her most prized possession. In fact, I got it right here. Seems to me Aunt Ellie said Francis had one just like it. I keep it on me for good luck. I know this is a lot to ask, but do you think I could borrow it for a while? Borrow it? What for? It's kind of a long story. Just take care of it, okay? Last time I was in the ghost town, somebody clobbered me over the head and locked me up in the old jail. That's terrible. Did you see who did it? No, I never got a look at him. We or never her, do. Or them, or whatever. You shouldn't go there anymore, Nancy. Something bad's obviously going on, and you should just stay away. And call the sheriff, of course. I'll let you get back to work. Take care. Sure. Well, we got the ring, so let's go back. Do I have to ask you for permission? Need something? May I go riding again? Oh, Bob's all yours. Talk to you later. If you last that long. Well, oh, thanks. You ever feel like Tex is just waiting for me to keel over and die sometimes? Yes. Yeah. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Sweetest and most pleasant friends and win. Hmm. And I don't have a key. Uh, I mean a coin. Why do I keep saying key instead of what? I keep saying key instead of brick. I said key instead of coin. I said key. I don't have enough keys. I'm out of keys, Sonny. Well, sometimes it be that way. I have to go play this uh, Roadrunner Wily e. Coyote game again. Okay. I like this music though. This is good music. This quality. Quality content. Quality content? Co. Co. What? Quality? There are no you know, koalas koala? in this. I, I know. I'm just making a joke. Okay. It's. Yeah. Come here, fellas! We got the moonshine! Uh-oh. Uh. Yeah, you're gonna die. I'm not gonna... No, I'm not. Oh. Okay. Well. Okay, I... How did I do this last time? I don't remember. Oh, this is how I do it. That's right. Follow me. There we go. That bluegrass, though. Yeah. <laughs> Another piece of Dry Creek script. Great. 
Hey, yeah. Mary, I told everyone about your relationship with Tex. You're welcome. <laughs> now everyone knows. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna save my game so I don't mess up with the money. Okay, so first we put the ring. Now we put the coin. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, I don't know if Wildfire's a good guy. If I keep playing, I'm bound to win eventually. Okay. There we go. Those are pretty nice. Wait, I don't know about General Smelly. Well, maybe. No, I don't think he's good. He just sounds really gross. Mm. There we go. Well, he's gross. He's not nice he's because he smells. Way to judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Sunny. I've got a key, but what's it for? That's done. Can't I haven't done? I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. Can't check that off yet. I haven't done that yet. Okay, what do I do? I found part of a key. Do you guys remember what I needed for? Uh, no. Me neither. Okay, well. Let's go to uh, Mary's place, and I'm going to try to call Bess and George and Charlena and see if we got any info. Because I still need to know about that beaded purse. Unless I was supposed to find something on my phone. Was there something on my phone? Uh, oh! This is my email. Great news. Oh, okay. So that's the bead pattern for the purse. I think I have the purse, right? Where is that purse? Something's missing. I do not have beads. Something's missing. Maybe. Okay, and then the cracker question. Okay, that's not what I need. Check out Kelleher. Okay. Sunflower crackers. That's what they're called. Those were her favorite crackers. Sunflower. Okay. Hi. Can I help you with something? I'd like to recreate the beadwork that was on this bag. Only it looks like I need a lot of different beads. Beads, huh? Let me see what I can do. While I do this for you, why don't you finish that display for me? The one behind you. Sounds good. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Okay. in a store you know hey Sonny if you ever need to get some jewelry I'm gonna hook you up all right I got the sizing and everything I love 
love this. This is a color organization game. This stream is sponsored by Coco Kringles. Coco Kringles. Yeah, remember Warm Doodles? Those are out. Those are so old. Get some Coco Kringles today, everyone. All right, this corner is done. Butter, or yeah, butterfly. I don't know. There we go. Check mark. It's a large. Goodness, that's a lot of red. Wait a second. I put the green in the blue? Oh my gosh, you guys must have... Oh my goodness. You guys must have been like, that's okay, don't tell her. She doesn't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just let Kristen keep going about what she's doing. It's all good. correct now oh yeah right color right color okay and these are correct yeah okay I can do the red now um, the music went away so that's nice Gotta do the uh, the blue over there. Uh, medium. Medium. Oh, it's a small. It's a small. Medium. Medium. Small. Extra small. Large. Extra large. Okay. That is an extra large. That is an extra small. That is extra small. Okay, so this is all correct. Okay, now we move up. We're going to do the reds. That's an extra small. That's a large. That's a small. That was extra small. Small. Large. Keep the greens. That is an extra large. Small, 
there. That looks right. Perfect. Now we can maybe put that bead pattern together. Hi. I finished that display for you. Any luck finding those beads? Here, try these. Great, thanks. It was great talking to you. Catch you later. All right, let's put that purse together. Okay, so, what the heck was that pattern? I to, dang it, I need to take a picture of it. Okay, uh, bead pattern, no, not urgent. Okay. Let me take a little picture of this. Okay. Need to acquire it. Here, we'll just do it outside. Okay, so I need one yellow. red corners repeat four times okay one Perfect. Four. Perfect. That flower looks kind of like a poppy. Exactly, it's a poppy. All right, got it. That's that's done. Okay, I think that's good to go. Uh, let's see if we can go to the trail. Zebra rock. I'll be the one with the snack. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's snake's gone. Snake's gone. Okay, I need a magnet. Right? Oh. Wait, how do I know what type of rock? Oh. These are agates, isn't it? Oh, I don't have. Okay. I need to know what these, these are agates. Do you remember? Uh, no. You don't remember. Okay, I think I do. Okay, let me see, let's try this. Oh my goodness. 
Where are you? There we go. I'm not gonna lie, this puzzle is really annoying. Uh, it's no bueno, there's parts of the paths that are hidden. Okay. Oh, last one's this one. the dramatic scary music secret compartment hmm. if you hope this task to ever complete you must wind her up so she'll move her feet if you hope okay do i still have the crank but I oh i have this <gasps> on the paper you got when you first began draw lines between the pictures shown here if you draw them in order you'll find something you need behind the picture that you make appear do I have to look at that thing again? Okay, on paper, when you first scan, draw lines. Draw them in order. On the paper, you got. Okay, okay, so uh, I need that thing again. This? Okay. Alright, so this. 
much of this. Uh, this. So this. V. For Valentine, no doubt. I need a V? I thought it was V for Vendetta. Oh, so I need whatever's probably right here. Hmm, maybe. Because that's the V. Okay, so I need to go to this part of the rock. Okay. Well, we're going to Dry Creek. Or not Dry Creek. Dang it. I'm at Cougar Bend. I clicked up. Oh, well. We're going to take a nice little ride. Look at the scenery. Look at the pretty photos. It seems like there was a lot of footprints around that area. What area? The Where we just yeah, left? Yeah, there. Yeah, the region you left, it looked like there were a lot of footprints around there. Oh. Much more interesting. Do it. Ta da! There we go. Ta da! At Charlie's grave, hold this up, look around, and you'll see the trail to a gift to you from me. Mm. At Charlie's grave, it's a rock. It's a rock! Sounds like it's locked, but it's not. <laughs> okay. This thing is just too scuffed up. Maybe I can get it polished somewhere. Maybe Mary could polish it for me. Goodness gracious, Never. I feel like I've been asking her for so many favors. Can I help you with something? I found this piece of rock in the desert. I'd really like to get the scuff marks off of it. Looks like it's been polished before. If I put it in the polisher, it'll buff up in no time. Let me see what I can do. It gets destroyed. It's a picture agate. Great. Thanks, Mary. Thank you. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Hello? We're booked on a flight to Phoenix. Oh, right! The bad news is, the flight's been delayed. Oh, no. Why? The plane that's supposed to fly us out of here is sitting on a tarmac in New Jersey waiting to take off. It's like 93rd in line or something. So what are you doing, Nance? Have you figured out who's behind the sabotage yet? No, but I have a gut feeling that whoever it is is after Dirk Valentine's treasure. Which means if I can find the treasure, I can put a stop to the sabotage. And I think I'm in the home stretch. All I have to do is go where the picture on this agate takes me, and I'll be all set. The picture on this what? It's a long story. I'm tempted to ask you to wait until George and I get there, but I know that'd be like asking an Olympic speed skater to slow down. Just be prepared to tell us all about it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Oh, and thanks for sending me that bead pattern. Thanks for giving us something to do. Bye! Ah! 
That tree looks just like the one on the agate. I think I'll grab Bob and head out in that direction. I'm surprised it hasn't really changed much in the like, what, 100 plus years? Yep. All right. Now, how am I going to get up there? Gee, Nancy, I have no clue. I could lasso that tree branch and pull myself up. Okay, I can do this. Also, Sunny, Vic, as you know, this is the time where I ask you guys to please put in your guesses of who you think the culprit is because we are going to be meeting them very soon. Mm. What are your thoughts, Vic? No. I don't think it's that. I don't. Because he's busy being in love. Because he's done. Kind of. Off. No. What about the uh, the one uh, ranch hand, the uh, the one. Dave. It's always near the trick. Yeah, the one that's always near the chicken. I mean, he was looking for the treasure. Okay. Like, he was looking yeah. for it. He's looking but for he it. But he backed man. off really quickly when he saw it. True. Yeah, it's kind of. Suspicious, you know? He backed mm. off really huh. quickly, though, about it. Mm, still, I'm gonna stick with Dave for the most part. You no, know, I always, again, I forgot what his name is. Shorty. The cook guy? Shorty? Yeah. yeah. It was interesting. Mm -hmm. We got confirmation that Shorty was looking for it. But what he said is that he was more interested in mining. Yeah. But, but when we called the geological survey, whatever it was we called, they specifically said that what he was interested in the map for was look for the treasure. Ah, now, so he lied. does this mean he's working alone? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's really just. Did, I have a feeling he's. Hmm? I was going to say, or did he have accomplices? That's what I was going to say, but uh, sure. Accomplices would make sense. There's just not a whole lot that. If like there are people who are suspiciously missing that we don't have any other possible explanations for. All right, so Vic, you're going with Dave. Yep. S Sunny, you're going with Shorty. Yes, I'll go with Shorty. Okay. While you were doing that, I was writing down the different colors because we have to figure out where I'm going and I think I got it. Okay. We have something that pinned that dust on some with Alan. Oh, I was not looking at the damn stuff. Hey, oopsie. Oh. Um, crud. Believe it or not, this is this is a pain in the behind, but I have to do this. I messed up. I messed up. Oh God, I messed up. Well, you see. You have to look through these vases to get things. It's a little annoying.
Okay, this is where we entered from, okay. So now I'm just gonna have to keep a close eye along the way. Okay, so first we go through brown. any of the characters that happen to be skilled in, like, electrical work? I can't say anything. You guys figure it out. Well, I'm not asking for, like, who did it. I'm just saying, do we know anyone who, like, said they did love, like, electrical work in the house? Okay. I don't honestly remember. Okay. One short. Dang. That's annoying. I am one short. Oh, cool. Wait. There you go. I am one short. That is not what I wanted. <laughs> that is not what I want when I have to memorize the colors. that back or I could get really lost. Yeah. Just gotta look around. I 
I was laid down. <laughs> we are still looking for the missing key. The key? Where is it? Oh, tout à l'heure, the key. Oh mon dieu. Incroyable. On sent. Are you singing about breakfast foods now? Oh, just very good. Okay, here we are. Brown is poor, so give me green. Ugh, I just love, I love being lost. There we go. Hey. hey. Okay, now I have to painstakingly do this again. Okay. All right, here we go. Brown. Yellow, red, blue, orange, lime, yellow, brown, blue, lime, orange, Blue, brown, lime, orange, red, blue, yellow, lime, blue, lime, brown. Okay. Here we go. This goes here. Mm -hmm. That looks right. This goes here. Good job. This Missy. goes here. Good job. This goes here. Oh. Wow. All right. Aww. He was, he was trying to be romantic. Look. Mm. There it is. Dirk Valentine's treasure. Solid gold hearts. Wow. Oh boy. I love it. Well, bye. I'm not going to take it with me, I guess. All right, here we go. You ready? Who yep. was it? Uh oh. <laughs> Why, hello, Nancy. Find the treasure yet? So you're the one who's been sabotaging the ranch. That's right. Here my buddies and I went to all that trouble. Wrangling that horse, busting that pipe, cutting those wires trying to scare people off the ranch so we could tear the place apart looking for the treasure. When all we really had to do was what I just got done doing. Follow you. You went to a lot of trouble for nothing. The treasure's gone. Well, now I don't believe you, Miss Nancy. Oh, and by the way, it's too far to make it back to the ranch without a horse, and I just ran yours off, which means you, to use an old cooking expression, are toast. That's what you think. Looks to me like the only way out is the way you came in, Nancy. So, ready or not, here I come. Oh, I gotta save my game. I forgot how to do this. Here not. Here it comes, Custom. I'm getting close. Oh, you know, it's gotta be a way to stop shorty. Through the, the hall, think. through the hallways, and under the archways, but they're not. Here she comes. Just went through another door, Nancy. No, you did it. Went through another one. No, you Only didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. I'm 
just three doors away from you, Nancy. There. Now I better hide. Last door. After I get the treasure, I'll deal with you. Whoa! You switched door markers on me, didn't you? That was downright mean, Nancy. I could have hurt myself. At least you can do is help me off of here. How about it? Nah, I think I'll go get the sheriff and let him help you off of there. Dear Hannah, it turns out that Shorty had ridden to the cliff dwellings on the Phantom Horse, which was really just a trick horse that a friend of one of his bank robber buddies had trained. Since my horse was gone and it was getting dark, I wound up riding it back to the ranch so I could call the sheriff. You should have seen the look on everyone's face when I rode up on a glowing horse. It looks like the phosphorescent powder that they used to make it glow was harmless, but Tex is taking care of the horse until he's sure it's okay. Mary Yazzie has straightened everything out with the Raleigh's, and now she comes over a lot, mostly to see Tex. He turns beet red whenever she's around. It's actually kind of cute. Speaking of cute, Dave confessed to the Raleigh's as soon as they got home from the hospital, just like he said he would. They not only forgave him, they even offered to split the treasure with him if it turns out they can keep it. Sheriff Hernandez is looking into it. The best part is, Bess and George finally got here, and we've been having a ball. Here's a picture of the three of us on our horses. Unfortunately, wow. Dave took it. Wow. Because he didn't realize his finger was over the lens. Off the <laughs> See you in a couple of Wow, what a convenient way to hide Nancy's face. Yeah. I started reading the Charmin yeah. oh. Cell novel okay. in the And you know what? Face. I can't put it down. Hey, sassy detective. Congratulations on solving the secret of Saddle Ranch case. Dave and Tex got together and decided to nickname you Scout. We're going everywhere and seeing everything. That's great. All right, let's see what our next Nancy Drew game will be. Yes, let's. If dreams can come true, what about curses? Well, in my next mystery adventure, you can find out for yourself, if you dare. I've been invited to a creepy old castle in England to find out who or what is terrorizing its residents. Could it be that the spirit of a centuries-old witch has returned to seek revenge? And why, after 300 years, has the Beast of Blackmoor returned to prowl the moors again? The answers to these and many other dark secrets will be uncovered in my next case, The Curse of Blackmore Manor. Oi, that means we get to have Curtis spitting off this. Yes, yes. We are going to England for our next mystery, the first international Nancy Drew game. Where Nancy leaves the States. Why would she ever do that? Because <laughs> she has to. This this is a very interesting turn in the Nancy Drew franchise where they start going international. It only gets better. It only gets better from here. So, Sonny, I have to say, first, congratulations. You yeah. picked the correct culprit. It was Shorty. Yes. Didn't have any good explanation for what he was doing. No, no. But it did spin me for a loop, because I was like, if we knew a character who was good with electrical stuff, and if we found somebody that tied the phosphorescent material to, that would be more definitive, but he tried to, he was the one who most tried to keep his actions a secret, other than Tex, and well, we figured out the answer to that one. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think of this mystery? It was fun. It was It was fun, fun to go, and see the stuff over in the, in the rocks and go to the ghost town do that whole puzzle mm -hmm. that was fun would you say this is your favorite Nancy Drew game or do you still like one of the older ones the best let's see um, it's kind of hard to tell at this point um, I know Vic's favorite is still the uh, the haunted mansion more or less yeah more or less. and I think Sunny I think you said your favorite was the castle one I think it was a castle. Still the castle. That's the one I was saying. Um, eh, I'm not sure. Alright, alright. I like this one. I did like this one. You did like this one? Nice, nice. Yeah. Ooh, Dirk Valentine and Sheriff Hernandez were both voiced by the same guy. Huh. Fun. 
And the radio voice. Oh yeah, the radio that we turned on in the living room. We were listening to the cow commercial or something. Well, I want to thank Sunny and Vic for being a part of this mystery. And I will see you guys back here for the next one. Yeah. Well, guys, that about wraps up this episode of Nancy Drew. We solved the case of the secret of Shadow Ranch. That shorty, man, he's not just a cook, he's also a thief. Trying to find a treasure that does not belong to him, but we got him. And another day successfully, well, another case successfully solved. Another day of Nancy feeling accomplished and enjoying some horse riding with Bess and George, although the photo did not seem to turn out well in the end. <laughs> it's so elusive, we never seem to see their faces. I don't know why. Be sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and leave a comment down below telling me how you enjoyed this adventure. Our next Nancy Drew adventure takes place in England. It's going to be exciting. So join, join the uh, Beehive family. Subscribe to the channel for more Nancy Drew content to come. Thank you so much for all your support. Remember, you are special loved. You are never alone. You're always welcome to hang out here. And thank you, as always, for watching.